we go into the second last clamor of the entire group stage. It is Rise Again, Michael Moon Thunder versus YR, Yumiko Remind, WFC, and High News. So now we can talk about the group situation. YR with a 2 and 6 score. That is wrong, right? I think it is. Um, 3 and 6 for Rise Again. That is two, uh, three out of six. Okay. So the situation is as follows. And I think we can explain this a little better looking into Liquipedia together. <laughs> oh, this is frozen. Gonna be right there. Give me a second. There we are. So the table is not updated yet. Maybe it is now. Yes. ELL 7 and 0. They are done. Rogue Warriors 6 and 1. All right. LP Club 4 3 also. So it's between Rise Again and YR. It's 3 3 for Rise Again, 2 4 for YR. If YR wins, both of these teams are 3 and 4. The map score could be, if it's a 5 map clan war, 0 0. But even then, the map, like the clan wars are the same. The Map difference is the same. Then YR wins the clan war, wins the direct comparison. Rise Again would be out. If Rise Again wins, they are 4 and 3. They are in the playoffs. So simple as that. Whoever wins three maps is in the $120,000 playoffs. It's quite some price money right here. Even if you only end up fourth, it's $11,000. So high stakes here in WGTL. Absolutely. We're going to start off with the 2v2. I think we missed the maps. Did we miss the maps? Maybe they didn't introduce them yet, but here we go. Ah, there we go. What a Q, Remo. Sick. Nullwood. A lot of variation today in the twos. So, you weren't there, um, but the 2-on-2 two two team of Moon and Thunder is so sick. Very much looking forward to seeing them again. Twisted and Turtle Rock out, so we end up with normal, in quote, maps. No Moon Meadows in this deciding clan war. And Moon is obviously the player here. Um, the Dreamhack champion, the best Night Elf of all time. We start on Norwood, as we said. Moon was always good in this one-on-one, -on -one, also in the beginning of the competition, but 2-on-2 two two didn't look too hot. Then he spent like two weeks figuring 2-on-2 two two out and found the ultimate hard counters to whatever was thrown at him. It's so impressive. It doesn't matter if he's with Thunder, doesn't matter if he's with Michael. He always looked incredibly hot, except this one game on... Uh, uh, what's the map? Tidewater Glades, where they had a bit of a bad position, but everything else was just surreal. So why are going into the season, we said they must be the greatest in the two and twos with High New, the two and two expert, with uh, Yumiko and WFC. But they were struggling so hard. High New not really a factor anymore. Yumiko and WFC didn't find their mojo. Played some weird stuff with Garks at times. But man, did they find solution! And the answer for the human uh, undead team seems to be early ghouls. So rare to see in 2 and 2, but it just works. They play so great together. Both of the teams, slow start, great acceleration into the last stages. So what will prevail? The eternal friendship of Yumiko and WFC or the Ultra Carry Moon. That's the storyline of the clan wall right here. And we start with exactly this. Yumiko WFC, Moon Thunder, 4 out of 4 for Moon and Thunder. Pew! 3 and 6 for Yumiko and WFC, but they are on a roll. I can't wait for this 2 and 2. It's super hype. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Two Chinese going up against the two Koreans. That's very high praise from you, Neo. Saying that Moon only took two weeks to figure out all of... 2v2. Does he have the answer as well to this WZ Yumi combo? Is it still continuing with the ghouls? Are they maybe going back to an old classic? Way back when Yumiko WZ used to play fast expansions, turtle into mass motor teams. That was spectacular and very fun to see, but not so much this season. However, the season isn't quite over yet. This might be their most important game about the playoffs now. Who moves in with the three top teams as the fourth seed 
into the semis of the playoffs, which will be played in a few weeks. In exactly three weeks, Remo, the uh, midst of June is Team League finals time. I have to uh, take a look at the calendar to give you the exact dates. It is June 12, 13 and 14. And then we're going to crown a new Clan War champion in the biggest competition that Warcraft 3 has ever seen, prize money-wise, at least. So, is it going to be a Dreadlord? Is it going to be the Ghoul opening again? Will Moon and Thunder have the ultimate uh, magic immune army to stand against it? So many questions. And I'm... I'm this I'm, I'm so excited for this 2 and 2. I wasn't as excited for, like... For two and two in, in forever. They had, of course, a couple of uh, like a week time to figure this out. Both knew that this would probably be the most exciting clan war. Also, what we have to point out is both managed their teams really well. I think I don't know who calls the shots at Rise again, but they outsmart pretty much everyone. They get their matchups on their maps and it works really, really well. YR is doing that too, especially the Remind positioning, I think is very smart. Remind, one of the surprises in the one-on-ones, but I think we'll go into that a little later. Another 10 euro donation by Fake Face Chan. Yes, he does, Remo. Moon is God tier. Moon hype train. And with that Moon hype train, we go into the 2 and 2 hype train. It's the decision in WGTL group stages. YR versus Rise again. It is Moon and Thunder versus Yumiko and WFZ. Here we see them. Thunder with the irons in the back. Good to know that he is, despite Corona still staying in shape. Moon as Chad correctly says god tier unbeaten in 1v1 really good record now towards the end of the season in 2v2 as well yumi and wfc they have had their ups and downs but have been friends through all of it and now who's gonna take the lead in this so important last match of the season for the playoffs 2v2 norwood let's get kick this thing off Indeed, the starting positions. We have YR in the upper left of Nolwood, Yumiko upper, uh, extremely upper left, bottom left is WFZ. So an undead base close position. This is almost always very good because pushing an undead base is uh, not to be advised, obviously. So is that a graveyard? I don't think so. No, right? We haven't seen the crest. No. Okay. Right next to him is Moon. So we have a WFZ Moon matchup with a Demon Hunter and Thunder with an Archmage. So it's a DK, no Dreadlord, and an Archmage. Pretty standard so far. So I think the first question is how well do the ghouls pay off for WFZ? Or is he playing I'm looking, Ted Fiends? I'm looking at this layout, spawning positions, and also... Position towards the opponent. Oh, wow. This is Mana. really dark in the shadows. Mana um, isn't this the best expo position ever for Yumiko? Yeah. This is going to be yeah. so hard to attack. Yeah. I wonder if they have the time for this, though. Usually, human night elf cool is a lot them. about tier 3. So maybe they do. If Yumiko is supposed to be a space creator for a high-level DK, then this is not the greatest position, but I think the DK is a space creator on his own, or the ghouls are the space creator for Yumiko. So this spawning position might already give a little edge to YR. Engine of War creeping here. Not too much uh, to creep at the early stages, a lot of skirmishes, and the ghouls are moving out of the base. Moon, how well can he defend against WFC? Has he been playing a lot of Demon Hunter in the 2v2s? I thought Keeper was yeah. the thing I to do. I don't think so, no, but maybe they thought it's a Dreadlord, and then the Demon Hunter is pretty much a hard counter in the early. So I guess that was the thinking. So the ghouls are coming across. Very... Dude, this is such aggressive play. They just traversed the entirety of Nullwood. Yeah. To get to Thunder's base. 
This is a big ass map. All right, I need to get something done here. Ghouls coming in. So far, not too many kills to be found. One peasant's gonna die here and there, I guess. There's no arcane tower in the main. That could be problematic for Thunder. We have to count the kills. First peasant went down there just a second ago. Another one is gonna fall. And guess what? This pressure is starting to ramp up. The DK with the aura first. Man, that is a rarity to see. The map is big. You want to cross it faster. Archmage is coming in, but both heroes very, very low, and the ghouls are starting to fall as well. So did that work the way they wanted to? Not sure. This looks so weird. You're playing AM and DK, and you don't creep anything. You yeah. just rush on level one. So Thunder is going to be a very low lumber. That is most certainly a certainty. You see, Neil, the, 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 the rhyming Remo, he's been practicing these last few weeks. <laughs> So, and, uh, I guess it's fine if Moon sends some resources over. I'm not sure if he's tacking with the Demon Hunter. He probably should. Thank you, Mann mit dem Riesen Rössel with the 500 <laughs> bits! Says Remo is back. Yes, I am. Okay, the Demon Hunter is uh, bullying the DK a little, so no call at the moment. Double level 2 for Rise again. Not the greatest impact of this harass and with a lot of time committed. How well will they scale? Moon is tacking aggressively. No hunts, just archers. Yumiko is tacking as well. And WFZ, of course, you want the tier 3 undead. So I wonder, with the dragon in the middle being so important, will he go for like one Garg into Fiend? <laughs> it's WFZ, so it could be. Maybe he's gonna throw a few shades in there as well, who knows? Well, as I said, he played uh, Garks in a Twisted Meadows game, and boy, was that bad. Um, yeah. Okay, harass continues. They 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 fixed it the next playday already. Oh, the block? No. There we go. They fixed it the next playday, so they were aware that uh, this was probably a one-time thing. I like the telly staff here by Moon. It has become pretty obvious that it's going to be a lot of... Harassing, annoying, obnoxious run by plays by YR. And Moon says, Well, when they are doing that, I guess I'm gonna have the easy answer with a telly stab always. This demon hunter is looking quite impressive already. <sighs> boots, staff, double claws. Remember, guys, never skip boots on the demon. Well, actually, sometimes in Eye of Mirror you can, but other than that, don't do it. Panda second for Yumi. Naga second for Moon. The Demon Hunter always questionable how much, uh, how big his impact is in the very late game when it's a lot about AOE and buff debuffs. So is it time for expansions now? Not for YR. They're creeping the mercenary camp. Doesn't really give you too much except experience, I guess. And I don't think Rise again expect them here. So they need experience. They need levels. Very badly, indeed. The Demon Hunter, though, doesn't. He's level 3 now. He is very strong. Even found slippers. It's the Gargs. <laughs> two okay. Gargs. With two Gargs, you can comfortably creep the middle. But only if you're left alone. Which they're not. Both teams make it towards the middle at the same time. Mana the Fountain here, I guess, is helping out the undead. There's Nova, there's Coil now, that helps against the Footman for sure. We have a couple of Riflemen already, Demon Hunter is bullying the DK so hard! Throws a Coil, throws a Nova, Lich has one more! Oh, this is so risky! WFZ calculating this well. Oh! What the hell? The Lich dies. Yeah, got surrounded and killed. Demon Hunter almost dying there as well, but we'll be able to make it away thanks to those wonderful, wonderful boots of speed. Now I got the last hit on the Drake, that is the Soapy Mask. In the meantime, Yumiko pressures Thunder's main base. Not a TP, but a staff in from the Demon Hunter. I like that as well. He is so strong, he can deal with this by himself. Oh man, this is mass murder on Yumiko's army. What's left even? 
The Merc got killed. The Footman get killed. Takes out the Watermental for a little bit of experience as well. This is not going YR's way at all. Yeah, this is the craziest looking Demon Hunter I've seen in 2v2 in a long time. And WFC is tier 2 with his guard commitment. No fiends. Moon is going Dryads. Moon and Dryads. We all know how strong that is. Panda is on a ridiculous level 1. Heroes are really not where they should be. Big map aggression didn't pay off for YR at all. Yeah, this is a weird strat. And you said they won games with this before? No, no, no. They didn't go into Gargs. When yeah, they but even if, But even if now they, instead of three Gargs, had two Fiends, would this game look so much better? Uh, of course, not really. I mean, the hero kill. maybe Norwood is not the best map for that, but on smaller maps, this was wonderful. Like on uh, this map, I always forget the name of. You know what I mean? Mm. Concealed? No, the two and two map. Ah, uh, Tidewater Glades. Tidewater Glades, exactly. There it worked off masterfully. But alright, not here. Garg's being picked up. And more experience. I don't know how they are supposed to come back. Like, the ultimate late game, is it very beneficial to YR? I doubt it. I don't think so. If they get a third hero and they transition out of this Garg nonsense, it could be. But that's so far off. Nice creep jack by Moon, continuing to own in this game. Gets a few exit kills, even steals a few creeps. Demon Hunter is almost level 4 already. The Demon Hunter is the leading hero on the board in experience. This never happens in 2v2 normally. <laughs> True. WC is trying. They have just 2, 2, 2, 1. No level 3 skill unlocked. Moon is going to tier 3 and now in 2 and 2. We absolutely know what that means. Mountain Giants. And it feels like Yumiko and WFZ, they're far away from any answer to Mountain Giants. Like, no tier 3 by Yumi. Yeah. Tier 3 is far away for WFZ as well, so they could go mass A-bombs against this, but... but it's rough, man. Second mercenary picked up and level 3 Naga. Moon is owning this game so hard. Alone, right? <laughs> pretty much, he's fighting yeah. pretty much alone. Thunder is gearing up. Thunder is holding. Thunder could expand, maybe. But Moon is fighting 2-1-1 on, on the map. Yeah, thanks to his strong heroes, which just absolutely cannot be contested. There's Gargs in the main, which is really annoying. But there is a Demon Hunter with a staff, who is soon to pick up an orb as well, I'm sure. At least, YR have scouted that Tier 3 is coming. But what do you do with that information? Can you punish that? Hell no. Thunder has two heal scrolls and a scroll of the beast. And there's an expansion coming up in the upper right. Maybe there's a shift in gears for Yumiko and WFZ as well. We finally have tier three. Uh, double crypt kind of prevents double slaughterhouse, except he's fed. No militia here, so no expansion. They need time, but clock is not ticking for them. Shade, you were right, by the way. <laughs> I wasn't really serious, but... Uh, Gargs and Shades. Okay, Gargs and Shades, the WFZ special. With very, very sad 2-2 two -two heroes. That that always feels really awful. You make it to 50 supply and then you have 2-2 two -two heroes. That is not what we call fighting shape. And how will they ever push this upper right expansion? <laughs> they expose everything if they do that. You know, looking at the map right now as it stands, I could absolutely see some more trees sprouting up. And that makes me think back of when Nullwood was still in the 1v1 map pool. <laughs> Moon must have also been amazing on Nullwood, right? He lost to Mio once on Nullwood. <laughs> what? I remember that, yeah! Oh, dude, can, can can you imagine how many towers were involved? I think <laughs> W3L or something. WC3L? I think so. The oldest game. Okay, we get A-bombs. Still lots of footmen for Yumiko. Red Spot gave them a rock column. 
Moon and Thunder going for that as well. This could be the imbalanced one. Gonna get nerfed soon, but not in this version. Okay, they make their way over. Expecting an expansion between the bases, I guess. Thunder's already there defending. <laughs> that was one of the wild. That nice. was one of the wild. A lot of supply for Moon and Thunder. Going close to 130. Yumiko and WFZ patiently waiting at 50. Level 3 Panda, finally. Did they make it all the way across the map for this rat spot? Yeah. Kinda. Nothing left here, bros. Time to hunt wisps. Moon very quick with a reaction. Oh yeah, he was there! In 2008, when this was played all the freaking time. Okay, we have a bear, interestingly. Mortar teams as well for Thunder, getting close to a wonderful army. Staff in. MK in trouble, but in with potion. With the army there, they sandwich him here. Bears arriving a little late. Scroll of the Beast and Talisman of the Wild and Heal Scrolls. This is pretty much a get the fuck out of my base item usage. DK TPing out as well. Yeah, it was just way too much. But expand thing at the same time. Gox were missing in this fight. In for more harass. John Elvison with a 20 euro donation. Thank you very, very much. Thanks. So many donations today, dude. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, you should go AWOL more often. <laughs> and then when you come back, you know. Raining money. Uh, before... Tomorrow's cast, I'm going to be gone for 12 hours. Does that count? <laughs> I don't know. Got to ask the viewers about that. Double level three for Yumiko. Finally, DK is still level two. It's ridiculous. Mass teleport would, of course, be wonderful. But we're so far away from that. Does he have frag shards now? He must, I guess. Two mortar teams, three mortar teams. This could be a ton of damage against the back line. AD Perhaps supply moon though, with a couple of bears. Dryads could be wiped out in a bit. He's ha focusing the demon out of breath of fire in the potion. What a save by moon. Abominations are dropping. This concave for moon is just so sick. Can they break through this? Mortar teams are kind of protected, so they could do some damage. Roar being used once again. Level up for the Naga 2, level 4. Lich level 2 still, so not the heaviest nuke. Level 3, DK finally. Oh my god, that took forever. Dryads almost untouched. Level 4 in the Mountain King as well. But. What's there? What's there for Yumiko and WFZ? Not much Not much. Left. Certainly no front line. Nothing in the bag is protected. The mortar teams were taken out quickly. The Lich was in trouble there as well. Everything is about to die. Moon didn't lose too much. In the meantime, some footies or something even killed off the haunted gold mine. The hero died. It is absolute carnage. And it's GG. And the one or for the Koreans from life. Thunder and Moon still undefeated. Big smile on his face right there, Man Moon. What a giant. Fighting two and one. I question the YR strategy a lot. The ghouls look too good on the small maps, but this Garak transition, was it already a little desperate after the initial harass didn't work out at all? Maybe. Wrong strat. And Moon being Moon. Kind of the key to this game. Yeah, really impressive. I guess they kind of played into that, right? This Demon Hunter was fed like crazy. Yeah. So many ghouls and and footies dying everywhere. So much experience given to him and none on the opponent's side. It really feels to me more and more in 2v2 that hero levels are absolutely crucial. Yeah. That wasn't the case for a long time. But especially with the rise of AoE and the rise of heavy melee, uh, which leads to the rise of AoE. That remains true, and Yumiko and WFZ both abandoned that, made weird crosses of uh, Norwood, and that takes like a minute. 
a minute that Moon and Thunder used for expansions and creeps and high levels and big armies. And no chance. Just at no stage of the game yeah. was there a chance for YR, really. Looked like a quite the outmatch, to be honest. But okay, it's only one of five possible maps, so now YR need to regroup. Gonna have to think about 1v1s now. What map do you pick? What player do you pick? Good question, man. TM and TR are vetoed. So we're waiting for the highlights here right now. Chat, who would you see and what map would you pick if you are YR? You got Yumiko, Remind, WFZ, and maybe Hainu, but we haven't seen Hainu in forever. And what do you want to trigger as a matchup? It was a lot of Remind AZ, but if that gets countered by Moon, I don't see a chance for Remind. But I said this many, many times and he proved me wrong all the time. First it's question, rough. I guess, is... Here are the highlights. Again. Oh, this is already late. They don't want to waste any time. This was a little bit of a desperate distraction push for this expansion, but many, many losses and... Huge supply lead, huge hero lead, items great. Sandwiched, all the things going wrong for YR. And then the final fight. Moon 80 supply, Dryads and Bears. And yeah, Water Elemental and Footman by Thunder take out this expansion. With being uh, map down, no, uh, uh, map down, uh, base down, no chance at all. Demon Hunter taking a lot, then being stabbed out. Just crazy Crazy fight again. The mortar team's not a factor for Yumiko. They were there too late, maybe not even with frag shard. Dryad survived way too long at the concave. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And that is the 1-0 for Rise again. Their momentum is unbelievable. But YR, they have shown that they will never give up the fight. And they always find some crazy solutions. Moon is definitely a favorite in a one-on-one. -on -one. Thunder is definitely not a favorite in the one-on-one. -on -one. And Michael might be the X Factor. Who will we see in the first one-on-one -on -one of the deciding clan war in the WGTL group stage? Rise again versus YR continuing after a little break. We are back with the deciding clan war on the WGTL. And the map we will see in the first one-on-one -on -one is Amazonia. If you ask me... This screams remind. Could very well be a Knight of Mirror, right? Could very well be a Knight of Mirror. We've seen Moon as first pick a couple of times now. Remind oftentimes the first pick with huge upsets over Chemiko, over uh, Cini with that mass bear uh, play. You were there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, this uh, could very well be a Knight of Mirror indeed. So Yumiko and WFZ, you said, have improved significantly over the last two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How good is the chance for anyone to beat Moon? Are you just going to sacrifice someone here now? <sighs> With being 1-0 down, can you sacrifice someone? Maybe they trust, they just trust Remind. He defeated, as I said, he defeated Chemiko, uh, Sini, also Fortitude. So it is Remind. It is Michael. Okay. okay. Michael was also picked against TH. Is there a better spot for Michael than here? Is he hard countering anyone? Yumiko, WFC? Not sure. It's a, I guess it is what both expected. Yeah, I would love to know the thought process here. Did Rise again think? <clears throat> this was definitely going to be Remind Seeded. Could be. Michael against Night Elf on Amazonia. That screams Double Crypt Gourash. I have seen this so many times. An absolute classic for Michael. But it's also, it's such a classic that everybody knows about it nowadays. <laughs> yeah. And Remind, yeah, he hasn't been part of the top pro scene for the longest time here recently, but he's been around 
Warcraft for so many years, he must have faced countless double crypt gold pushes. Michael has had a good showing against TH on this very map with Lich Ghoul aggression. Failed in the end because TH knew exactly what would coming, uh, what would be coming. Remind can expect this as well. And uh, this is pretty hype. Um, we haven't seen Michael in one on one since then. Uh, yesterday he wasn't playing. But Michael also the win against Chemico on Last Refuge, keeping ooh, RA in the race for the playoffs. Two key players for sure. I guess. So you, so you would say for RA in the 1v1s, it's still Michael who is stronger than Thunder? I mean, Thunder, uh, he's oftentimes a sacrificial lamb. Like, if your opponent has map choice, uh, choice you throw in Thunder because he's the weaker of the players and he plays some off meta strats like mk first uh, against infi or something and then the chance is like it's pretty likely that he loses michael was oftentimes saved for later and yeah i would say so i think we underestimate michael a little he has had especially against chemico was very 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 solid um good mechanics good ideas also against th it looked very good until uh the human army got too strong. This, and we don't have to forget that Remind is playing from Australia. So 200 ping roundabout. Oh, I didn't know that. Ah, that's, with, that's what Todd meant. Okay. He's with Snowkiss for quite some time. Yeah, hard to predict. Um, Michael must know this. Maybe wants to exploit it with uh, late game micro battles. All right, uh, I guess then strat for remind keeper fast expo mass fairies. You can play that with 500 pick. I <laughs> I think since his comeback, I haven't seen him versus undead. Or did I? I really hope he's not trying the talents again like a couple of years ago um, on this map against one two zero. That was one of the hardest matchups. Okay. Here we go, rise again, Michael versus YR Remind. Will rise again take the 2-0 lead match and playoff points, or will Remind once again be the anchor of YR? They could always trust him, but it's a hard matchup. The old WCG and BlizzCon champion in the upper right of Amazonia. Oh, Michael already with a ghoul over the former ESWC and WC3L champion for Rise Again in the bottom right. A uh, Warcraft 3 classic. This is a big moment in the game already. Can he get the cancel here? Remind wasn't so greedy as to put it super close to the creeps. So the Ancient of War is a little bit protected. Ghoul trying to re-trigger the aggro. And that works kind of well. I think we might need to bring more Wisps over here to dissuade the Renegade. If he gets the cancel, this is a massive achievement. But the rogues aren't attacking anymore. It's still pretty close. Swift the aggro again. Quick reaction by Michael. But remind as well. So the Ancient is not getting killed. That, of course, will trigger a Necropolis in the base of Michael instead of the Ziggurat. So people will ask throughout the game chat. Oh, wait, it's not. Oh, there it is. So chat, uh, you can educate the viewers later why there's two Necropolises. As you need to uh, save some lumber. And this is what the Necropolis is giving you. Yeah, this opening by Michael is a high risk, high reward kind of opening. It's uh, hoping to cancel the Ancient of War, didn't succeed in doing so. And what it costs you is lumber. Lots of lumber. That first ghoul is the only source of lumber income that you're going to have for a very long time. At this point in the game, of course, more ghouls have been made. Two more. So more lumber income will be coming in fairly quickly now. But... What is the math on this? How much lumber do you lose before the f second ghoul comes out? I don't know exactly. You're the one for like. Okay. 
Must be like 120 lumber, 140 lumber or something. It's a lot. So this means that Michael's tech is going to be slowed down significantly. With the lightning shield creep to start things off at least. Experience isn't going to be slowed down too much. We're going to have both first heroes making it to level 2 rather quick. And with the double survivability items, this hunter is key already. You would damage, but those items aren't too bad either. Okay, DK level 2. That was a wonderful lightning shield creep, by the way. Ring for Michael as well, too. Wisp still at the mercenary camp, so uh, can he pull that one? Or will the Wisps get killed so he can get mercs? We'll see. A couple of ghouls here, lasted for the Demon Hunter. Remind starting to be aggressive on level 2.1. Mana burn number 1, not getting surrounded here. Remind is doing a, an exceptional job playing with the ping difference. Killing a lot of players that he's not supposed to beat on paper. But this matchup we haven't seen from him so far. It's uh, quite some ghouls making his way over. Is Remind ready for this? Almost slipped into a surround right there. Oh, the tree <laughs> keeps it closed. That is certainly a bit of a mistake there by Remind. Not respecting that surround potential enough. Maybe has to do with ping. And he's definitely going to have to TP out of this rather late, we have to say. So it's going to take a bit more moon juice to heal up. And now with the TP gone, this is where it becomes really scary. Because the next surround on the Demon Hunter might end the game. Yeah. Remind is not voting green next time. Lots of ghouls. Second engine of war coming. Oh, you almost called it. You did. No. My god. This is a well-oiled up Demon Hunter. But well enough. Oh, it's deep commitment by Michael, though. But no damage what? uptime yet. What the? How did he get out of there? Michael finally switching it up, goes for the archers, and they will probably get slaughtered here against all these ghouls. Moonjuice is not looking too hot. It is nighttime, but Michael has a dust there as well, so hiding them doesn't do too much. Sick commitment. It's a shop coming for Remind as well. Wisp that nail against the skeletons. High pressure moment. But Remind controlling these archers really, really, really well. Needs to stay out of ghoul range, though, with the unholy aura. Of course, they are a tiny bit faster. No boots on the demon hunter yet. If this is a surround, this is probably game, but this is also buying a lot of time for the second engine of war. Double crypt. This is so much pressure on Remind right away. Michael with the classic double crypt to ghoul rush all in. Despite it being so predictable, he goes for it. Almost the next surround on the demon hunter. Oh my god. Oh. What Remind needs more than anything else here is the second hero. Panda, Alchemist, whatever it is. Both are really good. Needs to buy time for his tier 2 to finish and the second hero to join. It is the panda. It's coming. It's there. But he walks into that surround, kind of baiting it with the evasion. Of course, there's a lot of damage uh, not ending up somewhere. But can he fight out is the question. So many ghouls holding that surround. The Breath of Fire is not enough. Uh -oh. So the Demon Hunter falls. And can this panda hold this alone? He got the second engine of war up. Does he even have a hunter's hall? I'm not sure about that. There is a shop. There is a staff soon. But it wasn't ready in time. So we aim for the tree soon. Panda surrounded as well. Is he? I have a lag. I have no idea. He's trying to. And he is surrounded too. This is the second kill for Michael. This Problem. will be level three as well. The panda. Or can he fight his way out? Quite a few ghouls are dying. I think some archers were falling as well. But the panda levels up to two. Oh, that's not the best time to do this. Because that's more experience for the DK. And it's going to be longer to revive him as well. Speaking of reviving, though, the Demon Hunter is more than halfway back. This is still very stressful for a mind. He's down to 23 supply. But when his first hero comes back, maybe he can fight back. DK level 3, by the way. Aura level 2. Ghoul's now going towards the altar. He has to keep this altar alive. Absolutely. But can he do it? He's using all the wisp from the mine. Ghoul's just one target. Here comes more repair, more repair, more repair. Has to take care of them. This is huge losses for Remind. He has no income at the moment, but he gets his first hero finally. Demon Hunter is back, but what kind of carry is he? Michael moving away, having done damage. Did he tech? Yes, he did. Ghoul, push, defend it. <laughs> Ooh, stressful game. 
for a mine especially here. And the way he handled that situation, the way he was microing and moving against the surrounds and stuff, that did like he was fighting a bit with the connection there, if you ask me. Scouted Wisp Seas, tier 2 is on the way. With double crypt, that very likely will mean Gargoyle follow up. Yeah, pretty likely. There is two engines of war already, if I'm not mistaken, so he can go into mass artists, but then transition to ghouls again and wreck them. Thank you, Lao for lol for the four month resub. Keep up the awesome works, you guys are a big part of my corona coping strategy. Pumping shocked. Thank you very much. Sappers! Bye, Michael! Oh. And that is the altar! So, no panda anymore, except if he wants to go for the tavern, but then he has no mana anymore. Good investment, very expensive, but this will force more resources out of Remind, and he was already not mining for a bit. Trying to get a hunt saw now. <sighs> graveyard coming up. Gargoyles do need a graveyard. Is that what we're gonna be seeing? I imagine so. DK gonna get level 4 here. And with that, the level 2 coil. As he went for Aura on level 3. Another Michael Classic with this strat. Triple ring. <laughs> A very tanky DK. That's what you get for playing 2 and 2 with Todd. The disease spreads. So this panda is so late and will be so underleveled. Level 2 mana burn. Ready as well. Sentry wards won't help him too much. We got one mercenary, but that shadow priest. Oh, oh no, it's not a shadow priest. It's not a mercenary. It is a creep. I am once again confused by the red health bars. I'm very sorry. Low supply game. Remind is closing this. Is he seriously not reviving him from the tavern? No, right? It's just rebuild altar, rebuild uh, panda. He should be back pretty soon, I believe. Shredder also in the mix. Could help. Oh, surround again, though! Oh, no! Demon Hunter, this is not what he could afford. Can he oh fight my. his way out? He, he needs must. to. He absolutely oh. needs to. Almost an opening. No! Freaking way makes it to the moon wills. Michael's micro slip in there was a little too early to move the DK away because he thought the ghoul would die. <sighs> Forces the moonstone. Kills the second inch of war. First Gox out. Dryads will change a lot here for a mine. They should be coming in soon, but still has to be careful with this demon. Does not want to get surrounded away from his moon wells. You can see the stress in Michael's face. Like, oh damn, I need to uh, end this rather quickly. Remind is kind of coming back. The panda will join the fray in a bit. My god, did he dodge bullets there? And Panda he's is coming back. for Michael, and that means Frenzy Ghouls soon. And Frenzy Ghouls against Archers. Let me tell you a little story. Frenzy Ghouls reach the Archers, and they all die. Story over. That's it. And that will be the game. Unless we're gonna have a big Dryad transition. And they're coming. Double lower us up. Ooh, do you want to creep? The you have to creep something, but the shop is already gone. This ancient got killed, and the gnolls are taken out as well. Really smart move by Michael to take that camp away and contesting the natural. So he has to prevent the level three panda, and he's doing a great job so far. The yeah, question is: Is he going to be adding in a lich second? I don't think he will. This is like the classic Michael weird. Strat, you know, Frenzy Ghouls into Gog follow up into tier 3. Or a uh, double Crypt Ghoul Rush, I should say. Into Frenzy, then super late. And even against Dryads, if they find a fight in the open, can be pretty good if perhaps backed up by a Heal Scroll. DK, by the way, pretty close to level 5. But now Creepjack is coming in. And the Panda with the Dragon Ace Brother Fire finds a good connection. But it's only level 1 spells here, not the most damage yet. However, quite a few kills regardless. The Dryad Slow now being a big contributing factor. Oi, oi, oi. This is a good comeback mechanism for Remind. Three kills right away. Good experience. Panda up to 2-2. Two, two. Dryad staffed out, so he's not giving him an easy level 5. Panda reaching around. Has another Breath of Fire. 
Here's another kill. Can he reach? <sighs> Critical mass of Gargs definitely prevented with this engagement. And also the ghouls taken out before Frenzy. This was a really big deal. This fighting spirit by Remind is so impressive. Against the ghoul push, against the ping. And he's moving on. Lich is out. Orb of Corruption. This changes a lot. Yeah. But tier 3 is on the way as well for Remind, if he's not there already. Normally I'm a big fan of Rings of Protection, but in this game, I think the DK really doesn't need them. Like, focusing the DK in the first place is a big mistake. You need to go for the ghouls and the guards. So I think this game... Michael should be selling these rings. All three rings together, that's 200 gold. That's basically a heal scroll. Almost. Big invul for the panda. That is level 3. Another game changer. Staff teleportation on the demon hunter as well. So you can roam a bit and get out of surrounds if there are some bears coming in for roar and reju. How? Okay, he's he got a heal scroll now. No TP on Michael anymore. Contesting the Murkam. Okay, Carl Nova on the demon. Staff is on him as well. No double staff. Lightning shield holds the ghouls quite a bit. Flute on the DK, a bit more damage on the Gogs, and Lich, and level 5. Level 3 coil, this coil Nova certainly will be quite painful when it hits. But there is Invuls, there is a heal pot as well, for a mind, ways to save his heroes. Fiends now. At Here around 46 supply, when there's, uh, when there's bears, okay. The first Gar Karaz in this entire game, but there is a Shredder, and it should be kind of fine. We might just getting ready for 60 supply. One of the big auras goes to Michael, the second one. Can he punish it as well? No, he's focusing on his own progress for that big consumable. So a little bit of peace for Remind. Those embracers could come in really handy. Staff for the Shredder? Maybe. Yeah, he did use it. Okay. Another Garg falls, but more Morphines are coming in. Lich found the big healing that can also certainly be very helpful and very close to level 3 as well. Okay, Remind we retreats to... back to the main. Does not feel comfortable contesting the map right now. Remind wants to fight in his own base once again. There are a couple of ghouls. But Breath of Fire, level 2. Rune Braces on the Demon, pretty good. And MG Transition, get ready for the 64 Supply Jump. Ghouls are pretty good against it, but I think you will focus them quickly. And then what? What is the answer to them? Oh, rats for time? Remind would see if Michael can do it. It's... N uh, he sees it. Okay, he got the time. Right, so they're gonna trade red camps over here. Both Knight of Heroes will benefit from this experience. On the other side, it's only the Lich. It's all the team. <laughs> Those boulders. Scary. Ooh, Ancient Django. Ancient Django. That is uh, the jackpot item. Katka's pipe with the jackpot. That would be the jackpot. Ancient Django also good for Michael. Second or third or with the unholy. Takes quite some time here. Also damage on the ghouls, but statues are ready. So, what is it? Ooh. Whoa, okay. Ding, 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 ding. Both players got the triple seven on the slot machine. 64 supply jump is here. Mountain Giant still requires some time. He has one upgrade. And Michael is expanding behind this. That looks like the perfect timing for the MGs to force a fight here in a short while. Wait a minute. Did he just cancel one of the MGs? He dropped back down to 60. 59 now. Or... Hmm. Wait. Looks like it, right? And then there's a bear queued. I don't know. Did he cancel one MG in favor of a bear or a dryad? No. Wait, where did the supply go? I don't know. There's two dryads still in the base, by the way. Against the Garkaras, maybe. I hope he's not forgetting about them. Nope. Coming now, I guess. 
Motor Store is being morphed. Oh, Only so one statue is now left on the ground. No A bombs for the Disease Cloud yet, by the way. Yeah. Normally, the Disease Cloud in the super late game is one of the other's strongest weapons. So, what do we get? Heal Scroll. Big Invul is ready. Invul Potion on the Demon Hunter as well. 4 4, double staff, one orb, double MGs. This looking good, man. Another tree in the north. Michael's Expo up. 70 supply on both sides. There's some electricity in the air and this old school Warcraft 3 match between the two Koreans. Rune Brace is still on the Demon Hunter. Maybe once again not the best target to focus. One mountain giant not in the right position. Remind repositioning. It's gonna be all about the micro. All about the engagement. Oh, the Shredder! Such a nice play by Remind. Michael has to engage, otherwise he's gonna lose that bear. Executed instantly. Drunken Haze Breath of Fire. Fiends are all burning. Gonna be some roasted fiends in a bit. Raw being used. One MG in a good spot. The second one not so much. He's going for the panda. He has a heal scroll. He has an invul. Needs to use it. There we go. Mana looking good as well behind it. The first combination is there. I have a lag. Not too sure what's happening. Heal scroll. Brings the panda back up, but I think the panda has to go soon. Supply looking good for Remind though. He's pushing him back. Almost no damage on the MGs and Fiends are falling. Oh, Panda Staff out! Clutch moment by Remind anticipating this. Bears all gone now, so no Reju, no Roar, but it seems to be enough. Remind still at 70 and the Shredder takes out this expansion. Great fight by Remind indeed. The Haunted will be falling behind that. Remind doesn't have an expansion of his own coming up, but at least he certainly took a very good fight. Michael definitely overextended on hero focused heavily there. Both heroes had involved their worst staffs. The Dryad in the back, they are the vulnerable part. They are what you're supposed to take out, but they were just completely ignored. Questionable micro here by Michael. This is going to cost him the expansion. Not necessarily the game yet. Though. He has a supply deficit, yes, but it's not like he's down a bit. What a freaking god Remind is. 10 supply lead now. Hero levels looking great. The sixth sense of using the staff on the panda. Seeing this nuke coming in early. More bears. For more damage. How can Michael take this home? DK ultimate of course not a factor. Lich level 4 could be. Level 3 aura would be great as well. But the Night Elf heroes scale better. So with that advantage, I imagine the Expo will be coming down next. This would make the game very simple for a mind. Set up the expansion, defend it, and win. Or lose, depending on how the defense goes. <laughs> Great game plan, man. <laughs> uh, Panda steals the invul potion away. Hero focus, of course, not a big deal for Remind, but always feels good having that. Mana potion for Lucifer, Michael. <laughs> and heal scroll as well against the Breath of Fire. How is the damage in Michael's army? Not good, right? Five fiends, plus the dodge. And the, yeah, the new could be really strong, but again, he can't use it on the heroes. The heroes are just going to get staffed, they're going to heal up, it's going to be a waste. But the bears could die quickly to it, and the uh, dryads could follow to the focus. Big Tinker. push. Okay. Mm, knows that there is... Oh, he's unsummoning buildings as well. We're... Out mind goes for the bear, steps him out as, uh, again. 63. Michael's not going for a second expansion attempt. This is all in. Old school, super all in, undead. Selling buildings and all of it. Needs to kill the tree of eternity down the road. This is natural expansion for a mind is pretty protected with an AP and a moon. Well, 74 supply. What is this Remind on AZ? 
Who would have thought that Remind is one of the star players in WGTL in 2020? I certainly did not! Yeah, absolutely. Still in the situation. Uh, throwing out a couple of burns. A little bit of damage from the clockworks, but not too much. 63 supply for Michael. Okay, Rune braces again, saving from a lot of damage. One Mountain Giant gets uh, re rallied due to the head stabs. Kind of missing here and another execution. Slowly but steady, Michael finding some kills. Also losing mana though. The ledge is almost Yezo completely out of mana. DK still has plenty of coils to use though, and those are the painful ones. Level 3 coils. It's the Tree of Eternity moving over now. Three MGs. This is where things get pretty impossible. Demon Hunter focus. He's trying it again. Breath of Fire hits nicely. The Acolytes are in as well. Dryads are falling. Fiends finding good damage uptime so far, but for how long? Taunt is coming in endlessly. Focus fire of the fiends completely disrupts the call can't be reached because there's a mana burn last second. Next breath of fire takes care of even more. The dryads for providing quite some damage. The bear is still in the mix. Getting nuked now. Demon is surviving DK for how much longer is the question. Poison arrows raining on everything. Abomination about to fall. No more healing. And Michael can't break this position. <sighs> Looking grim. One more push for the undead. Needs that heal scroll desperately against this panda who is on a decent way to level 5. If Remind gets these double level 5s, this must be the nail in the coffin. Going to the shop. Needs to sell something for another invo. Uh, yeah, double invo now. He's exposing his natural expansion position a little. And the red dot should be the tree, right? So he's yeah. catching some ex some attention onto the tree of eternity and then trying to pounce from south. No, now he's repositioning. It's daytime now, so lots of vision range for Michael to see everything. No vision range advantage with nighttime thanks to Ultra. Scouting Archer sacrificed. She could have made the difference. I think she already made a big difference in scouting that Michael has no backup expansion. So Remind could chill and know, okay, once I move my tree over, this is my game. Still lots of fiends. Supply equal. 61-61. Right, how to deal with the Mountain Giants. Clockworks help a little. Shredder is kind of hurt. Thing to be remembered here, Staff is not going to bring you back to the main. Yeah. Staff is going to land you right up there, yeah. next to the Tree of Eternity. And, but the Moonwell there is helping so much. It's daytime now. He has the Moon Juice that is in the Moonwell now. And that's it. This AP is also zoning so much. Remind set that up minutes before we were mining out. Oh, he found the gold for this expansion! Somehow! Sold the rings for sure, but... Yeah, squeeze it in. Also sold some ziggurats, I think. Oh, he sold the Black Citadel, actually. Oh, no more potions, then. Yeah. Okay, maybe if that is the last chance to get income again, then go for it. One Moonwell taken out. Nile Army comes in. To defend MG out of position, but MG very tank. Not a big problem. Level four, which would be a big deal. Thank you, Don Dolare, for the 20 euro donation. Hey, Remo, your Arbeitsunfähigkeitsbescheinigung has finally been processed. Happy to see the McCartney and Lennon of esports back together. Who's Yoko Ono then? Todd, maybe down the road, <laughs> 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 laying in bed together. Will be wonderful. Thank you so much for the support. Michael now buying time. No all-in. Shouldn't be an all-in. Timana finally gets in range again for a bit of mana burn action. Eats the Curl Nova, but there is Rune Bracer still. Damage is not too high. 
Panda with a drunken ace with a fire combo. Good burn as well, and a lot of taunts coming out. Tinker taking quite a bit of damage, same for the A-bombs, and the MG front line is still standing strong. Yeah. Can he reach the Dryads at some point? Two abominations about to fall, he got one coil. Patient play by Remind. Thank you, Devour, Yor, and Doiks for the Prime subs. Another Ziggurat is coming up. The best thing that Michael can make with his gold is a meat wagon. Just one meat weed wagon to sprinkle disease onto the Dryads in the back would make such a big difference. And without tier two, I'm pretty sure you can still make meat wagons. I think so. But you so certainly too. can't make A bombs anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Chat, can you confirm this? Do you need tier two for the meat wagon? Okay, here we go again. The MGs are not in the perfect position. One is not even in this fight for a long time. Here come the taunts and the abominations and the heroes are like headless chicken. But he finds the connection to the dryads for once. Not anymore. Has to retreat. But the fire is big. But he always saves the A-bombs. Input potion triggered on the tinker. That was necessary. But again, oh. decent trade. Taunt! <sighs> Staff on the dryad. It's about every single unit. Another big healing committed. Two consumables. Gone for Michael. Michael makes it onto the Blight. That's a big deal. This health region, especially against the Panna, makes a big difference. You know what I would love to see? Is uh, cannibalized for these A-bombs. I'm not <laughs> even sure that he has a graveyard anymore, actually. Would like to see Michael's main. It's just complete shambles. It's just a few buildings sprinkled across. I'm not even sure what he can make anymore. What he certainly needs is more heal scrolls. I think he just got one. Yeah, one heal scroll on the DK. Lich close to level four. Yeah. Plus four intelligence, bros. And demon close to five. That would be a big level up also. Panda as well. Breath of Fire three. So sick. I think if Panda makes it to five, that f ends this game. Well, never count an undead out. If he has some nukes, he pushes again. Still this one Gark up. This is Remind Supply Stuck and also the Moonwell gone if he staffs units. This Moonwell falling is a big deal. Oh, the wagon. Oh, that disease cloud. Huge disease cloud. Needs to protect it though. Can he jump onto him? Remind Dryad Control. Is it as good as Moons? And not hiding behind the Mountain Giants this time. Level 4 Lich has been accomplished. Tinker and Focus Fire. Mountain Giant still distracted. Not the perfect fighting position for Remind for sure. Bear being nuke. Level 2 for the Tinker. That helps quite a bit. Level 5 DK being slowed. But once again, Remind holds. But for how long? He is supply stuck, so whatever he's losing now, he can't get back. And the bear falls as well. Level 5 on the Demon Hunter, finally. 150 mana burn is so big. Can the panda follow? Oh, the meat wagon left up there. That one will fall along with the A-bomb. <sighs> that losses. is a lot of supply. And 4.9 panda. Double level 5. Both at 60. Both mining. Both with good heroes. God damn, really we're not blessed sure about with the some... Tinker, by the way. Yeah, I mean, the Naga have been so much better? Yeah, or just solo. Um, he, w I guess he wanted this all-in go on the Tree of Eternity with a pocket factory, but it wasn't even there yet. Maybe a li little miscalculation yeah. by Michael. But yeah, um, what was I about to say? I don't know, man. I'm losing my train of thought. But yeah, both at sixty, so close. All right, and now the pendulum swings back. It's now Remind, but look at all the disease on these dryads. Oh, it's beautiful. Night Elves in the chat. Inches away from saying how busted the disease cloud is. We do have a heal scroll. Kind of necessary to just heal the dryads back up. But there's no second meat wagon, I guess. Another fight. So much focus on the Demon Hunter once again, despite evasion, despite the ruined braces. Oh, the Tinker might be trapped. The A-bomb surely is. Good blocks by the Mountain Giant. Remind is playing this well, and he feels comfortable to engage into the Nerubian Tower. Oh, boy. This is quite yeah. bold. Next to the shop, also, the Panda gets to level 5. Okay. 
Maybe he just wanted that. The meat wagon is back, and with that, a couple of dryads are falling. Focus fire once again. Can the panda reach? He has one more breath of fire as it seems. Maybe on cooldown. Taunt being used. Massive AoE! Fiends are about to fall. The bears are clobbering through these... Uh, through the damage dealers of Michael. Now falling. Both dropping heavily in supply, but always neck and neck. 52 supply on both sides. This match is crazy! Dude, this is a really cool game. And now the fact that the Black Citadel is gone and no more A-bombs can be made hurts Michael tremendously. He can still make statues, he can still make wagons, but no more A-bombs. Now it's daytime. How much moon juice is there? Not much! And remind, a 400 gold. What's he prioritizing? Is another meat wagon. I mean, if Remind is attacking into this expansion with the Nerubian Tower, he has the meat wagons to spread disease cloud, right? Yep. So that should be fine. And at some point, Remind has to attack because his expansion was established earlier. <laughs> this is a super cool game. Remakes the Crypt. That one was sold earlier as well. Fiend numbers are dropping quite low. You really want three or more fiends. I'd say more like four to five fiends in this kind of game. The mountain giant slowly but steady, also of course due to the disease cloud, losing HP. Snipes this bear. Well done. Opens up the expansion a little, but what's there except the MGs? Dude. Michael has zero lumber. He lost all the ghouls. Ooh. Oh, he that's why he needs no to more... re rebuild the crypt. Yeah, so he needs like two more ghouls and only then can he continue to make units. Yeah. Does it remind? No, I doubt it. Oh, look at the dryads, dude. So hurt. <sighs> Rejuve now. Disease Cloud doing a good job. Is that the game winning ability? Damage over time. Moonwell's empty. Nighttime forced. This continuous focus fire on the Demon Hunter. Kind of similar to the 2v2 earlier, by the way. This Cat Gus pipe yes. has been insane. Yeah, feels like he found that 10 minutes ago or something. <laughs> Might have been. Would it be amazing to have the stats, how much mana this has provided? It has been a lot. I can tell you that much. Is he really engaging into this? No tinker. Has no inwall. Of course, no staff on undeads. One mountain giant about to fall. That brings him down to 55. Remind is looking at his watch and asking himself, when the hell is nighttime starting again, <laughs> finally? It's still going to be a little while, but not too much longer. We can see we're only a little bit away. Finally, now the two ghouls resume lumber harvesting. And that will mean more fiends. More wagons, I guess. Where are the wagons? Ah, there's one standing yeah. right there. In the bottom right. They're kind of protected by the buildings. I like that. How can Remind attack this position? I have no idea. Selling the Black Citadel to establish this base. Is that the game-winning move by Michael? Plus these defensive uh, meat wagons. This is such a huge point for both of the teams. Heal scroll, only one invo left. Tense game. Even as the game has slowed down here a little bit and players have been able to enjoy a little bit of relaxation, there's certainly still no way for Michael to tech back up to tier 3. That's just way too far away. Yeah, so there's However, no front line. Needs to kite like crazy. Yeah. Against slow and against taunt. And that is where then the pocket factory does kind of come in helpful again. Yeah. Just zone in, you don't want to catch even more damage than you catch already with Disease Cloud. 
Okay, knocking it down now. Yeah, speaking of the cloud, wagons should be firing already. Just splatter the ground with disease. I mean, in a 30 minute game, this uh, kind of forgivable that he's forgetting about that. But this is, of course, what could make the difference. Back and forth and back and forth goes game two of the quarterfinal, in quotes. Winner of this clan war gets $4,000 more. At least. Yeah, it's a weird stalemate situation. I think the smartest thing for a mind to do might be to attack the undead main, but then he might just get attacked in his own main base or expansion. Late game advantage here for undead is mobility. Undead army with a level 2 aura much faster. Getting close to 80 for both. Almost maxed out. 1-0 upgrades for Michael. Would love to see the defense upgrades for Remind. Two heal scrolls for the undead, one for the night elf. He's the one suffering from disease club. Pocket Factory knocked out. So, nuke on the Demon Hunter once again. Groundhog Day. Taunt being used. Can he catch a unit or two? Every single unit is big. Reveal used. Fiend should be dead. Not following this up. What? A little afraid there to take too much damage from the wagons, I guess. A lot of disease was spread once again. Good damage on the destroyers. Four of them might going a little too heavy on destroyers. Breath of Fire is sweet. That's also big damage over time. Taunt. The positioning of these wagons is just perfect. Yeah. Yeah. One fiend is going to fall, but this is the first fiend dying in a long time. And that's the last dust. True. And what's the MG doing? Not in the group. He's a staff. staff. Is it even worth it? Throws out another one. Okay, super low MG. This costs so much moon juice. Bears, nuke thanks to the coil Nova. It feels like Michael has the momentum here. But now DK has no coil anymore. Is it still another nuke? Yes. Remind is losing more and more. And is making mistakes. Seems to be... Not convinced when to engage either. This panda is supposed to bring the big damage in the late game, but doesn't seem to be able to get to connect. <sighs> Double narrow tower. Defense upgrades, I like that. Yeah, Michael is stuck on 1-1 one, one upgrades though. As he doesn't have tier 2. But the DK is almost level 6. Must be Aura. Uh, nothing else makes any sense, I, th I believe. Tinker 3, Lich 5. These would be insanely strong level ups. Quite far away, especially with the Lich, though. Double heal scroll for Remind. Still trying to find some way to break this. But he's just continuously running into disease cloud if he keeps pushing. Sappers. Are we gonna mine out on AZ? That would be pretty cool. <laughs> and then what? Is it a draw? We haven't had a draw in forever. Is Remind feeling brave enough? Again, like. <laughs> Equal supply. How many times did I say this this game? Quite a few. Oh, the wagons caught kind of in a bad position. Oh, for once, out of position. Okay. Pocket factory taken care of. Demon hunter is slowed. Not too much disease has been spread yet. Only on like 30% of the army. Okay, this is the fight. Outside the base. These meat wagons could be approachable. Dryads and Demon Hunter trying to take care, but being slowed once again. I have a massive spike. There we go. Demon Hunter finally down to like one third. Might be staffed out of here. That will prevent level six for a while, but uh, heal scroll. And again, the big staffs out. 
another heal scroll used after the breath of fire demon hunter out of that fight tinker not level three yet now the bear dies six and three okay. level ups lamborghini and that aurea level three so much movement speed The MGs are tanky, but everything else, even the heroes, it seems like, can't withstand the focus fire for the Night Elf. What's Remind's... What, what, what can Remind do? If Michael is defending, I don't think he has a shot. That's the million dollar question. I don't see a clear, a clear way to do this. Again, so much again he needs a heal scroll, just against the disease cloud. Yeah, he has one potion on the demon hunter as well. Running short on resources soon. Again, the exact same supply. All right. Another fight. This time, Michael feels a little brave. This tug of war. Will it ever end? That's a lot of disease again being spread. When you're just running around and there's no real fight happening, this fa favors the undead massively with the AoE of the disease. One more drive goes down. A one little step. step further to level 5. Double invul. No, triple invul, triple heal scroll, by the way. That's pretty sick. Quad heal scroll now. And quad invul. Stealing that away is so nice. Stealing these heal scrolls away is really, really, really good. What about surprise chimeras? I th don't think he has lumber, right? No. Oh, against, against fiends, that's... We don't know if he has web. He did tech back to tier 2. Could go for web. It feels like Remind needs Metamorph. But can he trade 40% of level 6? Or is he mined out before? I have no clue how much gold is in the mine anymore. We still got a lot of gold. This is easy. It's Expansion lasts for 30 minutes. No, wait, even more, right? It's 40 minutes. Ooh, these dryads. Oh, they need to heal scroll really bad. Yeah, but they're all on Michael. The bookworm. All right, let the sniping begin. How to do... Against the Dryads, of course. Lich damage, not the craziest. Sold the flute down the road, by the way. Doing some damage with the Pocket Factory and just uh, threatening a fight. I like that. <sighs> Crazy game, dude. How did this game start? How did we get to this position? Well, started, started with a with ghoul, a rush. Strip, ghoul rush. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't think that if you see the army come now. Zeppelin with the meat Zeppelin wagons. Zeppelin wagons. Oh my god. That, okay. is, that is brilliant. Well, brilliant. If the mine goes over there, then the main base is exposed. It could also lose him the wagons. Oh, I can make more, though. Okay, all these units are, of course, not in the fight. Breath of Fire again. No nuke on the Demon Hunter this time. Oh, the safe with 60. And this forces repair. Still 80 supply. Another mountain giant just queued. Dude, remember how many micro games like this we had in the top 100 when we casted them six <laughs> years ago? <sighs> Honestly, I don't. <laughs> a, a lot. Like super late game, base race, last building situations. I'm looking at this ledge. He's very close to level 5. Dude. Nova level 3 is a pretty good spell. Mm hmm. More damage towards the Tree of Eternity. 
一座基地正遭到围攻。Can remind answer with the Zeppelin again. Question is if he has weapon or not. Demon Hunter catches the nuke. MG is in a decent position, but the meat wagons, they can't be sniped. The positioning is just too good. He's committing hard with the Dryads and they get sniped a ton. So much attention to the pocket factory. And that is finally level 5. This is 10 supply down already and the meat wagon is still in the careful, in a safe position. TP out. No! Tinkai will post. How much experience did the demon get? 5-7. But no lumber for remind. And the first time in forever that Michael has a supply lead. And a level 5 lich. And still two heal scrolls. Yeah. Still triple invo. He used two heal scrolls. He still has two. <laughs> so sick. And that is the big problem with the panda. If you have enough heal scrolls to cover his mana, he's pretty underwhelming. Even on level 5, as crazy as that is. Would you think a Naga would be better with Pork Lightning? <laughs> Don't go there, bro. Don't go there. Invis Demon Hunter. Where are the pickups? He still needs, like, what was it? 250? One Hippo would, of course, be a sweet answer, but the way there is so long if you're low lumber. He's trying to find answers with Invis and Echo Roasts. He knows ultimates are the answer. How to get this back. This is smart play. This is free damage with double staff. You can do this with impunity. Thank you, an anonymous Chiro for the 100 bits and can't help but help as well. Oh! Can he reach him this time? That's juicy experience. Yep. Man, they're playing on the edge. Tiny little risks. Every mistake could cost the game. Nice Nova. And he's going for the tree. Forcing a reaction again. And the mean wagons in the main. Taking out the moon wells. Supply stuck. If he loses units now, can't be remade. Good Zeppelin control. They're still finding new challenges and new responses. Who's the first one losing concentration? Does Michael need a smoke by now? I'm trash at this game. Ah, he's gonna be rushing downstairs for one. No, wait, he smokes in his room actually, so. Never mind that. Where are the wagons? Always... What are they up to? There they are. You need pretty much every single unit at your army, right? Oh, not attacking the Zeppelin first. It could have been a better play, maybe. But then, of course, can be repaired. Everything can be repaired. Did someone use the stop clock? How far into this are we? It feels like 40 minutes now. Well, Fancy, after the main was expired, right? So, Expos will be empty after more than 60 minutes. So, we have some time to go. No, wait. Was it 15k or 20k in the Expos? 20k, right? I think 20k. Wasn't it 25k at some point? Yeah, it used to be 25, <laughs> and then it was nerfed, in quotes. 20k, sure. 20K. With every tiny little fight, of course, Remind is getting closer to 6. Michael is building, or was building another ziggurat. Is he breaking upkeep? Maybe. He's got lots of gold. Two heal scrolls still. Quad invul potion. One heal scroll on remind. Ooh. 
Ooh, Steam Hunter feels the burn. The Arctic burn. From the Frost Nova. Dryad's trying to run away from the disease, but they're still partly inadvertently walking through them. Always finding some damage uptime on the wagons. This is not only remind supply stock, also a lot of regen gone. Do you know the upgrades for remind? Mm, nope. Michael should be having really high upgrades now, right? He's much. Oh wow, he's so close to six. Just the pocket factories, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one yeah. one upgrades only on Michael. That's very surprising. He's investing so much into items. But he okay, he has a lot, so. Yeah, he has six hundred gold. And he's making like ziggurats all over the place. A new slaughterhouse, that's his second slaughterhouse. Is he on the way to tier three so he can go A bombs again? Probably. He should. He's still got seven hundred G's. Oh, drop the meat wagons right now and then disease around the forest. Wait, is this pocket factory level 6? Maybe. Oh, oh baby. Okay, metamorphosis should be unlocked. He's under heavy fire. Here we go. And that is chaos damage, AoE and so much HP. Remind, is it another night of winning with a level 6 demon? He's walking into a lot of damage from the wagons though. Can he reach them somehow? Michael is losing a ton of fiends here. Oh my god, the impact of metamorphosis, how this game changes all of a sudden. Can he reach for the Breath of Fire? That would be one statue, maybe. Duration is about a minute. He's yep. trying to run away from that metamorphosis. Panda in trouble. Might need a staff soon. Has the heal scroll, so it's important. Uses it here. Another nuke might be a dead panda. Breath of Fire, big. This is metamorphosis over. Is that enough? Or will he fall now? Another good burn there on the DK out of mana and super low HP now also. Wow, finally a good fight for Remind. But now ultimate over. Over for a long time. Yeah. We don't see the cooldown with this overlay, unfortunately. Should have bought the back to Warcraft 1, just saying. Mana burns always. Panda back, full mana. There's quite some units low still. Michael down to 70. Has to TP out of this now. And the Zeppelin... Did he crash? Yeah. Free damage on this Expo. Still super protected. 3,700 remaining there. We will, we, they have 16,000 gold out of this mine. That's like... 3.2k maybe for a mine? 3.3k? Something like that? How much earlier... Was reminds expected. Yeah, that's the question. That's the question. It wasn't much earlier, right? It was like one fight, I think. Michael needs to pressure now, though. He needs to pressure now before the metamorph is back. But he has to lick wounds as well. I think he doesn't have the damage. There should be a big round of production finishing now. Jenny Prenzelberg says it was about 500 gold earlier. Dude, we could actually mine out on both, on all <laughs> gold mines here. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, heavy nuke again. Staff out on the panda. Demon Hunter cooldown is not ready yet. And two abominations back. Lucifer protected tier 3 twice this game. It feels like he got this, doesn't he? 4 MG still. Hard to break through. The A-bomb's really uh, slow despite the level 3 aura committing deep with the Demon Hunter. Tinker again down to 50%. Use the potion. It is ready. Invo potion on the DK. Oh my god. Oh my god. Doesn't have wagons anymore by uh, Michael. That's a big mistake. He needs new wagons. He needs new disease not being spread everywhere. Did he lose both slaughterhouses? Did he has, uh, have two? I'm not sure. No, I, th I think he. Uh, I think I saw that wrong earlier. I think it was the altar he was making again. No, yeah, there was a slaughterhouse for sure. But I don't know if he had two. So the one at the expo is down. Yeah, there's still one in the main. One thousand. Metamorphosis should be ready again. 
1,500. Oh my god. Yeah, I think so too. Remind is eager to push though. One invul, one heal scroll. On both sides. It's crazy how much gold did Michael spend on items this game. <laughs> Okay, Demon Hunter is Metamorphosis ready? There was a mana burn, but it's ready still! And it's time to run! Oh, so much damage trying to taunt this meat wagon. It was supposed to be the savior, but it's just down! And step by step, we're getting closer to Earth, Storm, and Fire! 80 supply still. Michael is doing a decent job. Demon Hunter doesn't have the biggest uptime of damage. And the Disease Cloud is working in favor of the Undead. Smart plays now. Yeah. Wasn't able to put Aziz on everything though. I think only, I don't know, half the army or so. Meatwagon wasn't controlled perfectly there. Ultra Still down. waiting for the Metamorph to run out. It's gonna be over soon. Oh, nuke on the Mountain Giant. Staff out. Tinker down to one third. A little bit of damage, but not overwhelming. And the Meatwagon is back. Yeah, that's the strongest unit in the game. By far. Panda 5-8. 5-8. Is he willing to take the trade? Every single unit is getting Remind closer to a victory. But we're about to mind out as well. Keep that in mind. Is there a coil? Oh, I sacrificed it, right? Yeah. I had a spike, ritual. okay. Smartly done. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a freaking game. Right, Remind Metamorph is on cooldown again for a long time now. This might be the time to push. Moonwell is all remade at the expansion. Very smart. After a staff, you can heal up again instantly. Three, we are 300 gold away from having an outmined north of Amazonia. This might just happen once in a lifetime. Here we go. Bear falling. Heal scroll committed early. Will we see Earthstorm and fight? Do we even have mana for it? I don't think so. DK in trouble. Focus fire there. Demon Hunter damage uptime is good. TP out due to the focus on the hero. Oh, level six oh! from the pocket factory. Last hit at the, the wagon. Meat wagon. Oh no. Oh no. Earthstorm, fire, metamorphosis. How many games have been won by these two ultimates alone? Mind oh, out. Mind out. History in the making here. This is history in the making. The last gold for Michael. Supply is still the same. <laughs> is it the same right now? 72, 70. A thousand gold left. Tinker is close to four, but I don't think that really matters. Mm. Demon close to seven? <laughs> Level three it evasion is pretty nice. Super sick. So who, when, when we're all mined out, Who's gonna engage? <laughs> could be a draw, could be a regame. <laughs> like, seriously, this could be a regame. <laughs> I'm not even kidding too much. We have a mana potion on the panda. For the old. Three one upgrades on these dryads now, by the way. And bears and mountain giants. Yeah, I think Michael fell behind in upgrades, didn't he? <laughs> Which is weird, he was so rich for so long. This game is more storytelling than Game of Thrones Season 8. I love that. Okay. Metamorphosis again. The panda not committing his ultimate could help a lot with Cyclone and Stomp. But the taunt is very, very good as well. Does he have the dust? He does. Not using it yet. Still have a Gark in the air, by the way. Level 4 on the Tinker. Here we go. Nuke on the bear. Staff out again. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, igniting the units. Michael trailing, but all of a sudden, Remind down 15 supply. The ults have to carry hard here. Dryads are about to fall. Level 7 for the Demon Hunter. When is the Panda ultimate gonna be there? He's using so many Breath of Fire. Oh, DK. Oh, DK. Almost DK. stuck. Almost got surrounded. Michael is not losing anything. I think he wants the ultimate damage uptime. So use the Earth Storm and Fire once the Metamorphosis is over. Running away is so good for Michael with the level 3 aura. The Dryad's a little bit out of position. So is the A-bomb. Get one more A-bomb. Dark Ritual. I guess it does... At this point, experience really doesn't matter. 
Why is he killing the Saber? He wants more, right? Oh, he wants... Oh my! He's moving all the trees! He's sieging <laughs> with the ends! <laughs> what is happening? We all... We mined out AZ! We mined, we out, mined AZ. out AZ! And now with all the trees! Lots and lots and lots of miss! DK. Does he have something? He has no invul. He has only a heal scroll. Is hero focus the answer? Of course he's not gonna push into this expo because there are so many narrow towers. Invul potion on the demon hunter committing hard, but the- Oh my god! The echoes actually distracting so much! Earth, storm and fire committed! Fire panda, so much damage. Can he reach though? DK is in a world of trouble! He has no death pack! Maybe a little greedy? Jesus Christ! Nuke on the demon and he dies! This should be the game for Michael. The fire panda damage dealer is gone. 40 supply only against 70. This is not helping much. The storm panda. GG. How long was this game? Remind losing. Michael 2-0 for rise again. What a match. Fully mined out AZ. Great back and forth with twists and turns everywhere. And in the end, he loses. Because the Demon Hunter dies, because the Panda couldn't staff him out. Because the ult is good, but what you don't have with a Panda ult is an inventory. You can't use items. And the Demon dies there finally. My god. Kaolin, not really phased by that game, which is insane. <laughs> My god, Michael. Couldn't How long was this match? This must I've... have been an hour, right? Yeah, pretty sure it's an hour. More than an hour, I think. We will look it up. 2,800 viewers. That is by far the record for WGTL. Michael, just as in the Clutch Clan Wars against uh, F4, has the nerves. It was against Chemico. Now it was against Dreamind. Though, what a sick beast Dreamind is. With the higher ping, making this game, dragging this out for so long. But Michael... Coming in as the X Factor, we no one knew in what shape he is. He didn't through this game. He found great answers. Wagon additions, Zeppelin drops here and there, taking out so many buildings, so Remind was forced to rebuild them. Taking so many heal scrolls, taking so many invuls, and having nerves of steel. Two, oh, rise again, and they still got Moon. If YR wants to make it to the playoffs, they have to beat Moon, and I question how. I just checked from our VOD. This game was more than an hour long on Amazonia. Another, Crazy. another game of the year contender. It's so many these days. Happy vs. Blade, Happy vs. Foggy. Lin vs. Fortitude was also sick. And now we got this marathon. It started with an almost all-in double crypt ghoul rush an hour ago. <laughs> it feels like that was a different game. <laughs> it feels like that was a different series. This was a best of five all in one game combined. You know what the funny thing is? There were still creeps left in the GG <laughs> In the bottom right, the Merc camp for that's some creep. <laughs> Thank you, Nurtle, for the 14-month resub. What a game with the best casters. Yeah, I'm quite happy that I didn't solo cast this game, by the way. <laughs> My god, Michael. Both heroes were dead, but didn't give up. Remind survived for such a long time. Despite but yeah, this double trip Gulash isn't even super all-in. You can transition into Gargs, which may be able to do something. You can transition into Tier 3. Just a sick, sick, super cool game. Man. These early hero kills almost lost the game for Remind, but he always found a way back. Maybe the end was a little bit of a tilt. Not the greatest timing, not the greatest position. But man, who can blame him? Skipping like 40 minutes from highlight to highlight. <laughs> Thank you, Don Dolaro, for another 20 euros. Almost forgot. Here's your extra payday for the extra hours, Neo. Thank you so much. And 
X meta dollars missing X with the gifted sub. Thank you very much. That's the end right here. We're all waiting for the Earth Storm and Fire. Remind. This is. Th he lost a lot there. A lot, lot. Straight up fighting. And then dry its melt. But the coolest moments for me in this game was how Remind kept on getting worse ends of the trade, kept on getting worse ends of the trade, and then level six, and then suddenly everything flip, flipped around. Yeah. All the misses now. Uh, imagine if he gets a DK around there. Yeah, it was close. There's no way to save him. And this is where Naga really could have helped with a late game focus. I mean, late game mistakes after one hour. That happens. At one point, you run out. You run I out think of the steam. Clark was also a misclick, but yeah. Yeah, know. whatever, man. Or he just wanted to make sure that there's no Zeppelin drop or something. I don't know. Who knows at this point? Michael made many, many great decisions. Here's the Earth Storm and Fire, but pretty much zero impact, right? F Fire Panda was far away. He was trying to all in this. There was a lot of dispel against the Cyclone, so he didn't even use it. And this position was just so great in this little choke. Mountain Giants all over the place. Pandas all over the place. Good to nuke. Crazy damage by Lich. Made it to the level 6 at the end. And then with the Demon Hunter falling. Everything falls. YR, do you fall as well? It's 2-0 for Rise again. After a disastrous early, they are one map away from the top four in the playoffs in the biggest league that Warcraft 3 has to offer. Decision already or come back for YR? The Clan Wars continues in a bit. We, go, we have the next match and Rise Again go for the win. Moon, the greatest, the six out of six. Night Elf Legend up against WFZ. It is once again down to Wu Zhen in a team game to save his team. Into the one on into the two on two and then into map five. We need the craziest of all comebacks for YR for the final four and the task is monumental. That is the proper word. One of the bigger outmatches on paper that we've seen today. WFZ, can he do it? The map does do him some favors. Concealed, certainly a pretty good undead map. Night of there can struggle quite immensely at times. Some players even play Gargs here. We saw WFZ play Gargs earlier in the 2v2. This is something you might be considering here as well. It is time for the GOAT! Moon, a phenomenal performance in the twos. WFZ, a little bit of the hero for YR in recent weeks. He defeated TH on Last Refuge. He defeated Focus in the clan war against LP. That cleaned the 3-0 for them. He needs to be the best WFZ that he can to send a chance against Moon. <sighs> How history repeats with WFZ in, in these clan wars is unbelievable. He started this season throwing games everywhere against Sock, even against Fast. He got these games on Turtle Rock twice at the very beginning of the season. But he turned into a different beast just recently. And that is absolutely necessary here. So, CH, you talked about this might be a little favoring for the undead, but I can tell you what, Moon has been AP pushing pushing undeads of this map, and these undeads were the one two zeros of this world. So I wonder, will we see that again, or do we go straight up? If Moon wins, Rise again is in the final four. If not, we go into the two and two. Doesn't look like an AP push here. I'm going to start off with a Demon Hunter, not with a Keeper of the Grove. Interesting. Moon has been playing a little bit more Keeper recently against Human again, though, hasn't he? But not against Undead. Demon Hunter, and with that, most likely a Naga to follow up. But there are different ways of playing a Demon Hunter. It can be one base, map control centric, or expansion heavy. Normally, Moon is more of an expansion player. But that doesn't mean that you can 100% be sure that that is what he's going to be pulling off because no matter what he plays, even if it's one base, 
it's uh, gonna be very strong. WFZ will have to play out of his mind in this game. Yeah, what's the game plan? Picking up the item, dealing with the echo so far, skeleton, but Moon is ready, has a wisp here. Moon, without the keeper, of course, you can't go for the immediate level 2 creep. This will take some time. And sidestepping WFZ, going for the turtles. Rare mistake by Moon. Ancient of War deny. Hmm. Denied himself a lot of experience from that first camp. However, the wisp timing was impeccable. So he denied the more valuable camp to the undead. So WFZ went for the turtles. And got a mantle there. That is certainly the good start that he's looking for. Whereas the gloves are, I think, without doubt, the worst item for the Demon Hunter. Yeah, late game can be good, but early game, not too much. So, typical happy foggy opening by diving into the base, forcing a narrow tower. That's quite okay, even saving the skeleton. So, you see, it's about every tiny little bit, even the 12 HP from skeletons. And so far, WFZ does a good job. Does not let the Demon Hunter enter the Acolyte so far. Now he could, but doesn't want to commit too hard as the narrow tower is up and then surrounds so are very, very possible. Archer numbers keep increasing. Once they get to three, four, maybe five, some bigger camps can be attempted even without Ancient of War. But only as long as the Undead is not around. WZ just wants to creep himself. Ooh, using the narrow to trap the creeps here. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Not on this map, no. Very old school hate love anger plays. And there's reveal. That's a killed archer. Moon a little too aggressive. And this demon hunter is still slowed. WFZ, we said he needs to be the best. And he absolutely is here. That's a oh, TP. Detonate. <sighs> Would have been too slow. That's TP the camp. First, yeah. That's level two. TP forced. Creep denied. Great start for Wu Fa Zhen, who wanted to quit Warcraft because the Chinese community was so rough on him after the first two losses against Sock and Fast. He got it back together and has an early game like this. This could be abused quite heavily with like run bys. Frenzy Ghoul and such, but this is not exactly the matchup to do this in nowadays. Normally it's more against human where you try to go for the economy. But yeah, even without run buys, uh, missing TP can certainly be painful. Is that five ghouls? No, that's four ghouls. Okay, four ghouls is still the standard for the happy build. To go quickly into fiends. It's an early lap. Moon trying to go for the middle. That... Is something you can expect. Who messed it up though, right? Uh, sometimes it fails. I don't think he made a mistake. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Maybe he did. Maybe the critter blocked him. But sometimes the ogre just doesn't feel like it. <laughs> like drinking? <laughs> uh, you know, not today. You have to t take some off days as well. And yeah, this is absolutely not going smoothly for Moon. Now he scouts it. He has a coil. Can he come out of nowhere and snipe this? He has two calls actually. Moon must be aware. Archer block. Oh boy, if that gets stolen by WFC, this is the ultimate early game. That demon hunter threatening a mana burn. Not even enough. But he went back to sleep. Regening up. And so far, this is not working. Nova, right clicks, no TP, no stab. Can you just follow this with another Nova? Not really. Ghouls are not coming in, so Archers are not threatened. Nice split by Moon against the Nova. And that's quite some damage on the Lich already. Oh, nice Shadow Melt. However, there is Dust again to reveal these Archers. This is oftentimes a problem for neither on this map. Ancient of War creeping is really limited. You get the first camp and then you get the lab, maybe. And then everything else is super far away for the Ancient of War. Red camp trap can be nice, but if it fails, you just essentially waste a lot of your time. TP lost, Archer lost, Ancient of War and I, Red Cam botched. This is a horrible game so far for Moon. Yeah. Wakes up the Ogre Lord again. Alright. So. 
What's next? Level 3 is far away. WFZ or out 800 gold. Moon is taking to tier 3. Which is not too common from him against Undead. He was still a big fan of Dryads. I mean, it is the normal, more normal thing to do. But Moon is always uh, different than other Nidos. Good scouting by WFZ. Knows exactly what's up. He has some time now and he goes for the Ogre. Thanks for the preparation. Oh! <laughs> yeah, look at his face, like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> well, happens to the best of them. Moon most still... likely assumes that the red cam will be taken by his opponent is conceding that one. But uh, he doesn't know that this is taking a lot longer than initially intended. Gets level three okay, this is five ghouls, actually. And no oh, fiends. This is actually mm -hmm. not the happy bird. I was wondering if he goes like one Garg for the fountains. Oh, the shockwave hurts! Oh. Big. I know that feel! Oh my god, a creep deck here would be so sick! Doesn't get it. Carcass pipe! What a reward! Oh, oh, oh. The third pipe and the last hits. All last hits, right? Everything yes. is aligning for WFZ to make the upset today. It is so wonderful that some stories in Warcraft never change. One of them, WFZ carrying team games. Team Hunter still not three. Naga still not three. This game going absolutely not according to plan for Moon, but it's far from over. We still haven't seen a big fight, really. Still haven't seen too many kills, really. They're starting to come in. And level 3 demon will finally be reached here. In a bit. Dude, if I tell you five weeks ago that WFZ is beating TH at Moon in this <laughs> you would send me to the nut house. Did the Wisp see this expansion? I think oh, so. this is so important! Whether this Wisp saw the Blight or not, I'm not sure. He may have been standing behind the tree line and may not have seen it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If Moon knows about this expo, he should probably be counter expanding. I don't think he's strong enough right now to force a fight. He needs mountain giants, right? Somehow. Even then, mountain giants against these ghouls are not the craziest. Yeah, once one narrow is up at the expansion, it's going to yeah. be really tough for Moon. And I'm not trying to meme here for Kevin Schwem. <laughs> narrow Tower is actually really strong. Pre-upkeep. Uh, pre Looks pretty good inventory, huh? Gloves. Mantle. Claws. And two red spots go to Wufajan. Moon stepping back. Knows he needs more time. And getting his own natural expansion ready. There's a Wisp close as well. Resources are kind of short. Ah, he queued it already. All right. So Expo's coming. Then he saw it. Then he knows. Demon Hunter is right there to pick up the item once the dragon falls. And that could be big. Is WFZ considering this possibility? Yes, no doubt. Is he going to pick it up quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Nice heads up play. Everything hurt for Moon. 50 supply. WFC is super short on lumber. Okay. So is Moon. And arguably he is the one who needs lumber more because he will need MGs. Yeah, Moon With upgrades cute already. upgrades already. So maybe he started an MG upgrade as well, sitting at 50. And he just built the expansion. So I think he's going to be there in a bit. Getting ready for, Zep for possible Zeppelin drops with weapons. Dude, this very well could be the game. Where WZ beats Moon. <laughs> Fat lady isn't singing yet. Ah, it's far from over. This could turn into another beautiful two base versus two base game because those games are the greatest. Isn't that right, Neil? They're oftentimes pretty entertaining. Level four Naga. That's actually a pretty good level up. This Frost Arrow increase from 1 to 2 does help out a lot. Naga plus Dryad focus fire slow now. It's going to be very potent. Okay. I love, by the way, how for WZ's last game in the season, 
There's, of course, a shade <laughs> around. <laughs> and this brilliant aura, brilliant aura is working over time. We go abominations very soon to spread the disease. Breaking upkeep. Is he ready yet? Supply lead? He knows it. He knows the army inside out. There's a green camp still left over there. And there's a safety TP as well, just in case. Oh, but the army getting caught without the heroes. Demon has a staff, well. but Naga. This is uh, a little problematic for Moon. Bear needs to use the rejuve. Demon Hunter needs to. Demon Hunter staff, but the Naga isn't here. He didn't use the staff of preservation. And he knows that the Naga is coming. Hello? And bye bye. He's got the TP. Dude! The fact that he uses the fog lightning there to TP out before TPing out. Is oh. this. Dryad? One fiend shot. One shot, one kill. Oh! oh Destroys with the staff. Two base, two base, indeed. CH, pretty much mined out. Mined no, out, crept yet, out. By the way. Huh? No disease cloud yet. Not yet, no. Needs a little lumber. He was pretty short on lumber for a while. And, uh, you know, pit requires quite some mana. Mana? Mana, lumber. Ooh, <laughs> this uh, game two kind of <laughs> broke my brain. Imagine if Shades had mana. What ability should they have? Coil Nova, but in one spell. And they don't reveal. <laughs> Sounds good. Finally make Undead balanced. Maybe spawn four ghouls in an homage to WFZ. <laughs> the biggest fan of Shade ever. Oh, I was about to... This is a Boneyard that would be so sick, but no. Second Crypt and Meat Second wagons. Crypt. I mean, if you can that afford it, why not? I'm surprised it doesn't go double slaughterhouse. Because he really likes to do that. Very few fiends, right? So the focus fire isn't really the scariest. Normally the scary thing in this under late game army is there's strong heroes and there's like six fiends and everything that gets focused in the front line that is not a mountain giant dies very fast. But here, we don't have a Naga third for WFC, and we have only two fiends. He's going for more of an A-click army with lots of melee units. Do we even have MGs for Moon yet? Oh, he said 77, I suppose so. Three A-bombs and a meat wagon. Is he getting impatient? 80 supply, though? Oh, lots of gold still on WFC. He could try to set up a third base up here. There's something moving. Okay, it's just another shade. Does he have two shades? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, there is a double slaughterhouse. Okay, I like that. So he can always rebuild wagons at the expansion if he's getting seed. And he claims the high ground behind this push. Concealed Hill Classic. Yeah, but usually it's the Night Elf. Usually it's uh, fortified by trees. Now it's getting haunted. So as you can see, the Focus Fire isn't the greatest. MG's in a bad position. Hidden behind all the Dryads, only now reaching the front row. And Dryads are falling quickly. So are the A-bombs, though. Demon Hunter almost untouched. Uses another mana burn. There's another coil ready as well. A-bomb. Oh, one falling. Illusions used by Moon. Damage is pretty back good. In. Who has the better end of this fight so far? I think it may have gone to Moon. If he gets his A-bomb, this would be a nice parting gift. Doesn't get that one, though. WFC had a big bank. And did rebuild during the fight. And buys time for the middle. Nice thing here for the Night of is, after a fight against the Disease uh, Cloud, you can heal up at the fountains, which true. he's doing as we speak. Cannibalize for WFC, by the way. Yes. 
Come on, bro. You know we have a mind meld, WFZ and I. Of course he's thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Illusion sees this. 2 1 upgrades for Moon. 1 1 melee upgrades. 2 2 melee upgrades coming. <laughs> Are we gonna see Chims this, frick this game? It's not impossible, man. If there was a. G I, you guys know I hate Chims, but if there is a game, <laughs> it's this game. Like, seriously, right? You can just take out the gold mine so easily with Chimeras here. Yeah, and there's one fiend. Yeah. Everything else is heavy armor on the undead side. Yeah, and splash against ghouls is pretty good. Oh, that's oh. that's such a hard position. These meat wagons, dude, you're never gonna get to these meat wagons. Disease already spread. Oh my god. Okay, he wants to fight the high into the high ground. This is not great. Raw use, but good front line. Trying to have like a rogue attack from behind against the wagons, but they are so protected. How long can Moon stay in this fight? Yield scroll coming out. Some A-bombs are falling, but there's always so many A-bombs left, it feels like. The demon in trouble, dropping low. Oh, needs oh, to get a range of the staff, and he staff does. out, there we go. A-bomb's kind of falling. Needs some coils there. There is a potion, could use it. Has to reposition these wagons, or wants to at least. 76 supply still. There's... Oh, no one to the bear. That was big. Staff out again by Moon. Great control, but for how long? The mountain giants are not really a factor in this fight. It's more and more kills. Lich, though, is he in trouble? He's dropping. He's chasing. But we saw it from Happy and one to, uh, and uh, Foggy how hard it is to kill this Lich of Control while Burrow being used. And now Moon is on the high ground, but with what? With almost nothing. Staff out. Naga still there. Another Nova. TP out. WFZ holds with 82 supply and an exit kill on the bear. Moon down to 61. Big bank, but no lumber. WFZ, dude. With mm -hmm. the mass. A-bombs. How cool is Cannibalize right now? Killing his acolytes to be down at 80 because he has three bases. Third attack upgrade coming in. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh my god. Nobody in this league could beat Moon. Nobody but WFZ. He's six out of six. And WFZ lost too fast in the beginning of this game, of this league. <laughs> Speaking of, like, I don't know. Best of one, clan leagues, everything can happen. Oh, bear snipe. Moon sees it coming early. How do you break the, uh, the undead bases? These movements are taking a lot of damage from the wagons. Yeah, Three de attack upgrades, by the way, on these wagons. Deep oh, Insane yeah. Deep oh, yeah, they share the upgrade with the A-bombs. True. Demon Hunter's already low. Great damage on the Dryads. Naga! Uh, has a town portal and an invul. Should be safe. Open fight. No high ground. WFC TPs out immediately. Is that a timing that Moon can use despite the disease cloud? I don't know, man. WZ, you could go up to 100 supply here if you wanted. And again, on the high ground with the blight. If you think about it, Undead in this position has plus 2 HP regen per second, and Night Elf has minus 2 because of Disease Cloud. It's 4 difference. One Garg, is it again like Panic Garg? Or is he like expecting Chimera somewhere and just wants to have a solution? I don't know. Could go fiends anyway. This reeks like desperation, trying to force another TP. But is he jumping onto him? No. Nope. Kind of a walking position for WFC now. But nukes always work. Forcing staffs. Double staff from one super important. This is a very distractive kind of play. I'm smelling Chimroos somewhere. Is my nose off or... But where should he have made them, I guess? In the we would have seen them by now. Yeah. 
Main base is mined out, and this doesn't look like Chimera Roost. At the Expo, there are none. Yeah, and the thing is, there's always shades scouting things out. Huge Nova again. These bears always freezing. Oh, Meat Wagon's a little out of position. Caught by the taunt. Roar used now as well. Mana burns. Nice A-bomb safe. Clutch coils. Demon Hunter out of that fight again. How fast can he take out the bears? They're kind of like one of the biggest damage dealers in this entire fight. Kind of weird that the, the DK always has mana. Three MGs at the same spot, so the taunt isn't too impactful. He's at 88 supply. High upkeep. Two destroyers in the air, almost untouchable. He's gonna lose some A-bombs now, but the trade's always good. Demon Hunter, is he surrounded there? He has to walk a weird way, but he's safe. But what else is safe? Not much. Bear killed three A-bombs. And the demon oh. dying! He got it. He got it. This madman did it. Unbelievable. WFZ. What Lin couldn't do. <laughs> what nobody seemed to be able to do. WFZ does. When Moon is playing 1 0, he's rushing him. The game's last six minutes and 1 0 dies. Doesn't matter if he plays series or not. Level 5 Lich. And Wu Fajet. My god. If I ever have to fight a clan war for my life. I know my first pick. Barely relevant in solo WGL qualifiers in here. Looking so strong. GG! My god. WZ keeps his hopes alive. The ones of his team. <laughs> he knows. Oh boy. That was quite sick. Big smile here as well. Wufa Zhen keeps YR alive and Moon loses the first match. So, next one is 2-2. Two two. Could be Moon Michael or they once again go back to the Thunder Michael play. But what an accomplishment, man. TH in the group stage defeated... Uh, TH, WFC defeated TH and Moon in the group stage. Do we need another proof of how important this man is in Team League's focus as well? I'm so happy for this guy. I'm so, so happy. I'm so glad he didn't quit mid-season. And pulled a result like this. Showing all the haters. Yeah. Great to see him being so successful here in his 1v1. And this is a very unusual view. 2v2 goes to RA. Michael wins his game. That's the 2-0 for them. And then Moon fails at the finish line. Yeah, they wanted to end it quick, and it didn't work. So, still match points for RA. Okay, two in a row, but Moon failing. They are so reliant on Moon. Usually, in every single clan where they were reliant on Moon. Moon can still turn it around in the twos if he's playing with Michael. And what's the two and two for YR now? Remind WFZ? Remind Yumiko? This clan war continues in a bit. We see the highlights. Here, Moon trying to storm the high ground. The decision by WFZ to take that risk and claim that during a fight in the upper left. Wonderful. But the game was won earlier, I guess. This was just getting it one step for, uh, uh, further. But if you see three undead bases, and yeah, then these meat wagons again. Man. How much impact did Meat Wagons have this clan war? So sick. The disease cloud. Our, st our statsman, Panzer Tanel, by the way, says that's the first victory of WFZ over Moon ever. Freaking. Must feel good. Must feel amazing. In the biggest league there was the Moon trying to dive. Desperation there already. But Wufa, he holds. What a madman. 
It was 14 and 0 for Moon before this, so now it's 14 to 1. A long maybe time a, coming. Maybe a sign for Hawk to not give up his game to get happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The undead today, huh? What is showing? Can you boost your mic in the break? Because you're kind of little, kind of, kind of low. Or I turn down. Yes, yes, I can do this. I think it's hangout once again. Doing some, doing some ballads. And that's the end. That's the demon hunter falling. That is the two and one. Why are catching up, staying alive, forcing a second? Two two. Is it the comeback of Hainu, maybe? Haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. The answer in the match for the fourth place in the playoffs might come next. 2-1-2 two two between Rise Again and YR. Will they reverse sweep them? Insanity on the way. See you in a bit. The next matchup right here. Still match points for RA. Michael and Thunder it is. The Band of Brothers for the playoffs against Yumi and Remind. 0-1 versus 1 out of 3. Not the most successful teams we've seen, especially in the early season. Michael and Thunder looked weak. And I was surprised to see them last play day. But they made it work with the Dreadlord play. It was crazy. Yumi and Remind, Human Night Elf. Is it... Did they expect this? Do they want to go for the magic immune combo of breakers and dryads we need big brains right now <laughs> when they won their last one michael and thunder it was also on twisted is this their special map their special strat reminded yumi by the way lost to uh fly and th so there's no shame in losing that on Turtle rock nonetheless oh my god i'm Clan Wars. The greatest mode in all of Warcraft. I'm pretty sure we're going to move to two map five here, dude. There's no way this is ending with this 2v2. Shouldn't, right? And if we go to map five, then uh, this, these guys are so close. They started this with the two map score difference. And then it, it would be ultimately tied. And it comes down to like one map, which is freaking insane. In seven clan wars, it will come down to one map at the end. If we go there. Yeah, but RA still have the chance to finish this off sooner. If the brothers deliver. Family bond. From the stat screen, it hasn't been looking all that rosy throughout this entire season. But Neo says they have gotten their footing, so we'll see. Family bonds. Will they prevail and get them the four thousand extra dollars and the playoffs? I don't know. Twisted human undead versus human night elf. <laughs> what? Kevin and Chad. Blood is thicker than balance problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, this is exactly like, like this is uh, pretty much what we saw from TH and Infi versus Moon and Thunder. When Moon and Thunder found the solution against this Dreadlord play, would be sweet, would be bittersweet if Yumi and Re uh, Remind now use the Moon Thunder tactics against the Michael Thunder combo using the Infi TH strategy that would go like almost full circle. Remo can't follow, I think. He's making the steps in his head. It takes some time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little I, triangle, you know? I, I, I kind of got it. I kind of got it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, ha half listening as uh, all good uh, commentators do. <laughs> I know, I know. So, Michael, we see him. 
He has a... Sh does he have a shower next to his gaming... Whatever. Michael and Thunder, two real-life brothers punching for the playoffs. Yumiko and Remind. A rarely seen before combo, but two all-time greats of this game, that's for sure. Remind with Soju, probably historically the best 2 on 2 team of all times. Back in SK in World Elite days. Twisted Manos, match points, RA. Is it Dreadlord? We see. How cool that this is not so unusual of a question anymore nowadays, right? <laughs> yeah. Is it Dreadlord first? As we have seen it quite a few times. Yumiko and Remind, bottom side of Twisted. Michael and Thunder, top side of Twisted. That is a ghoul build. Okay, I like Before that. Michael. That sounds like a Dreadlord to me. Archmage. Dude, I was almost expecting MK. Like, Stormbolt, sleep, nonsense abuse, you know? <laughs> but no. Archmage and... Yeah, double Archmage first for the humans. What's it for a Remind? I think... Demon, right? Yeah. yeah. Demon, counter Dreadlord, hero pick. It's not against the instant expansion that will probably come from Michael and Thunder. Then Keeper would, of course, be great with Treants and Tangle. It's rather against the late game Dreadlord with Mana Burn against Carrion Swarm. And I think that is the best chance they got. Mass Breakers, Mass Dryads, take away the mana of the Dreadlord, render him useless, and win the game from there. You need a great early game, though. Can't if let the go, Dreadlord spiral out of control. If you go Mass Dryads and Mass Breakers, mm -hmm. isn't Demon Hunter kind of overkill? I think you need the Demon Hunter to get there. I've, 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 I've seen this play out once. I don't want to make conclusions from one game. But... That's what worked against TH and Infi, and if it works against TH and Infi, you, it's not too bad. Alright, starting off with the null camp. Sleep here helps with creeping that for Michael. Michael has always been a hero, a player willing to try out different heroes. Looking forward to see him on the PTR as well, where the Crypt Lord might be stealing the show of the Dreadlord, whom we've been seeing quite a bit in 2v2s. First Aura, blood. carry and swarm, and oftentimes lots of A-bombs. Can be very strong in the late game, but takes quite a long time to get... I like that they open up the Merc Camp, so Shadow Priests are a thing. Thunder not taking it is a human expansion, not an undead expansion. We rushed here too with archers, no hunts. And we open up that expansion as well. Will they counter expand? Looks like it, right? There was a wisp in the bottom. Not sure if he has the resources after tech, double level 2, evasion, and brilliance aura. Does not give the claws to the demon? It's not bad on the AM either, but Demon has higher attack speed. But, but I guess no he's range. melee yeah. running around. Yeah. Well, maybe then we should give claws to Shadowhunter instead of Blade Master. Absolutely. No one really <laughs> knows if that's better. Uh... <laughs> People used to do that with the old crit. Yeah. Slow start. No harass thunder's expansion coming up and levels for the dreadlord starting to get there as well sleep and carry and swarm could see a transition later into vamp aura which is really good for a bombs <laughs> it's a pretty funny game both fast expanding and then both creeping together this yeah, is very yeah. mirrored so yeah. far see a berserker and a shadow priest so why are making use of that early mercenary camp rise again Starting to get there now as well. Level 3 Archmage. And item. We'll see it in a second. We'll Scourge Bone Chimes for Remind. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, for Bears, yes, but not for Dryad and Breaker. 
sure. Now we'll see. Yumi is a big fan of tier 3! Locks the surround on Yumi! What a surround by Thunder! Triggering the TP pretty much immediately. Lots of uh, melee units are coming in. Sleep on the Demon has a TP as well. Staff trying to staff. Sleep again! Oh man, he forces to stay him in the fight for so long. Another surround. What a great play by Rise again. Level 3 for the Dreadlord. Now a TP out with more losses. No, not really. Oh, okay, one goal. Gets the Shadow Priest on the other side. But that is open floodgates to the bottom left. Two TPs missing, man. That's really painful. Couldn't they just bounce between the bases now? Threaten an attack and... Uh... Find so much damage then? Well, for now, Arya are gonna fall back. YR playing very defensively here, understandably so, with the TP being missing. MK no blood mage. Needs to, I guess, a bit of a front line. Oh, cool run by into the main. Should be ready though, right? There's an arcane sour, that's a demon hunter, so no carry and swarm. And that's when a Demon Hunter shines against the Dreadlord. Yeah, this... Okay, this was a complete waste. Tech pretty late by Michael. Should that have, shouldn't that have been on the way already to Tier 3? Begins now. So... Last time the game, as I said, was decided by a lacking... TP by Infi, they should not make this mistake and restock Yumi and Remind. We'll put them together and the next attack is coming. Buying time for the tier 3. AML 4 is very nice. Michael coming in again with the ghouls, but again there's uh, the army at home. Do we trust the moon call now that a demon hunter is necessary? I think so. It's good proof. It seems like this attack should have hit at the same time as Thunder's attack, shouldn't it? Wouldn't that have been the better coordinated move? Tandem attacks could always like trigger- OH, oh SAPPERS! Oh yeah, we've seen that before. Opening up the lab because of a thunder with the shredder. Boulder kills it off though. But that is a lot of buildings falling. Demon Hunter level 4. And now it's time for Michael to creep a little. For the level 4 or 5. Zeppelin. Saving this unit. Will it crash? No orb yet of course. Dryad's not fast enough. So we know that Michael's taking to tier 3. Is anybody else taking tier 3? Is the question. Yeah, we haven't seen any any other Evil units, TV. right? Thunder buying time with the Zeppelin drops. This is what they uh, played par excellence against NP as well. Double crypt, double slaughterhouse. Pretty low lumber though, right? If I saw that correctly. Yeah, so Disease Cloud is 200 lumber. Very expensive. Perhaps Thunder can help out there a little bit. Because Disease Cloud is, as we impressively saw earlier today, pretty damn good. Did you forget the blacksmith? Okay, Castle Tech. Blood yeah. Mage. Double tier 3. That's Mortars, man. If they go... Breaker Dryads having a bunch of mortars, the Yumi special. Ooh boy. Yeah, Breaker Dryads is not very good against A bomb mortar teams, let me tell you. No. Again, a little run by. Yeah, Zeppelin is ready. Zeppelin. This Mark. is so annoying. Just like you in a good mood. <laughs> or with a or with a couple of beers. <laughs> oh, with a couple of beers. <laughs> well, it's kind of you know kind of the same thing. <laughs> it doesn't seem like YR can move out at all and do anything about this greedy teching, can they? No. They fall Especially with the TPs gone you earlier. Yes, the they rebought the TPs, but that's always expensive. They've in fact rebought three TPs. 
There's actually quite some damage on this expansion now. There's no way against this, is there? He has flame strike. Big oh, one. oh my god! That's a lot of kills. Zeppelin. If only he had Blizzard, man. Whew, that would have been sick. Needs to get out there though, right? Doesn't he? He's, he's, he's waiting for the next flame strike. Ah, doesn't get it. No mana. He's afraid that the Zeppelin dies. It's yeah. a safe call to TP out. It's pretty awkward with the Blood Mage now, though. You're your Flame Strike level one, and you're gonna be out of mana for all times. Feels like he needs to creep a little, right? Yeah. If he creeps the lab solo, he gets level two. Maybe he can do that. Rifles, mortars, bring in that damage, Yumi. Dude, rifles, mortars, frontline A bombs. Mm -hmm. Is that the Best army comp ever. RMGs better than A bombs. Or do you speak human on that? <sighs> no, I mean generally. I don't know, man. Like Disease Cloud is making a good case for being pretty damn good today. That's true. That's true. However, it's not only A bombs so far. It's also a lot of ghouls, yeah. which are good for harassing, but in the ultra late game. For fighting, normally, not that good. They have a tendency of dying, kind of quick. AM double rob of the Maggie, by the way. He <laughs> has to retrain into Blizzard, man. Wait, actually, maybe he doesn't. Depending on what army we see. Breakers are coming. Dryads are coming. Couple six, uh, well. Ooh, will they collapse on Remind? A town portal. Yes, on the Naga. Yeah, this fight cannot be won, but at least he gets the intel now that his Dryads are trashed here against all this Ooh. Siege and Piercing damage. Yo, this is how fights could look if they don't find an answer quickly. Yeah, this is a scary freaking army. Dreadlord level 5. His carrion still has use, as we still have footies on the field. Oh, red team's definitely out of position. One's gonna be lost. Seth. Wait, is there a... Okay. They're trying to break into this base. Level 5 Dreadlord. There is no Blizzard, just Flame Strike, and it's only level 1. This is not great against all these ghouls. Demon Hunter has no emulation in general. The AoE is not that crazy. Flame Strike, okay. First Mountain Giant's out, but there's so much normal damage. Not sure if they can hold this. Footman suffering, but that's what they're there for. Clap is pretty good against this, though. Heal scroll used. That was the last one, I think. Oh my god, crazy fight. And they TP out. Remind Yumi hold. Who was that better for? I don't know. It was at least two heal scrolls committed for YR, which is a really big deal, in case there should be another fight soon. Ghouls lost, but you want to rotate them out anyways. Yeah, same for and footmen. In fact, there's still quite a few ghouls left, surprisingly. Thank you, Jonathan L. Seagull, for the five gifted subs. High five, mate. Thank you very much, man. Um, you remember four weeks ago when we said, oh, Twisted. The ultimate split push map, and now we see <laughs> so many combined really attacks, like the meta shift in the 2 and 2 is probably the most beautiful thing about WGTL. Yeah, especially this undead army isn't made for fighting solo. For Michael, I mean. He's got only melee, only A-bombs and ghouls. He needs the backup of the ranged army. Is Remind expanding bottom right? Yes. Oh, I think they scouted it also. Thank you, Did he Zero. blow it up with a sapper? It was just cancelled. Looks like it. It was cancelled, yeah. But the wisp seems to be still there. Another fight coming, but he sees the A-bombs like, oh, no, 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 not yet. Yumi isn't there yet, is he? Like, his army is not a factor at all. Shouldn't Thunder still go into Blizzard just against the MGs? Isn't that still much better than Water Elementals? Yeah, I think so too. Double mana potion on the level 2 MK. Don't want to use that yet. Karen's form is sweet. Not a real high ground, by the way, so no mischance. And these mortars, they 
They are so sick. Oh my god, that's so many A bombs, dude. What the hell? Yep. Typical twisted match for now. And the lack of levels on the Mountain King. And the lack of AoE. Flame Strike is alright, but doesn't hit the big targets here. Clap comes in, Carrion Swarm comes in. He can't reach the Dreadlord for the Malabar anymore. How close is he to six? That's another big question for Infernal. Looks like RA is pushing for the playoffs. Into Fine. the base. Where is the damage? It seems like YR just don't have the DPS that they need to cut through this insane front line of mass abominations. Flame strike from the back, more teams from the back. Imagine Blizzard as well, but I guess they don't even need it. Even without Blizzard, the damage here for RA is insane. AM gets to five, and the Dreadlord, he's inches away from level six. There we go, he gets burned though. So he doesn't have the mana for the Inferno. But without an ultimate, I think this is still a victory. Denies him the celebration, Inferno. Oh, the Blood Mage, he gives it to him. Give me these sweet fireworks. He wants to end it. There we oh. go. And he gets a hero kill with it as well. That must be it. The Mountain King is about to drop as well. And he does. The Demon Hunter is still just hanging by a thread. And it's GG and Thunder arms in the air. Big smile on Michael as well. Fourth place at WGTL. The winners are Moon, Michael, Thunder. Blood is indeed thicker than anti-magic. Oh, boy. Cool story as well for RA throughout most of the season, throughout almost all of the season, it was Moon delivering. Moon keeping them in the race and scoring the big points for them. But today, Moon loses his 1v1 for the first time and it's the brothers, it's the other two players delivering big time. Michael wins the 1v1 and the 2v2 and secures the fourth, fourth position, fourth slot for his team. Unbelievable. 4-3 score in the end. It was so clutch. So sad for WFZ. But yeah, what, what a sick 2-2. Two two. Heavy tier 3, heavy damage. Great transition. Maybe not aggressive enough early in this 2-2, two two, but man. It was Moon who gave them wings. WFZ broke his wings today. But the confidence and the momentum that Michael and Thunder, I guess, gathered via the two and twos with Moon made him made him so strong here today. So the two guys who were a liability carry them into the playoffs, and that's a wonderful story. These old schoolers here, man, Michael from from no man's land into the top four, eleven thousand dollars guaranteed for the three. And sky is the limit now. It's gonna be rough. The matches for the playoffs: ELL, Lin, Lawliot, one to zero, versus uh, Rise Again, Moon, Michael, Thunder, and Rogue Warriors versus LP Club, TH, Infi, Fly versus Fortitude, Focus, Colorful, and Shao KK. Oh boy, these clan wars are gonna be insane. Pretty cool. It is uh, Thunder here doing the post-match interview. Big smile on his face. Yeah, arms in Wait the air. Minute. That's so Wait a rich. Does he speak Chinese? No, right. I don't know. Maybe they have a translator in the call. <laughs> he looks very confused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't get the answers here um, on the clean feed, so we don't really know. Oh man, I can tell I got a big smile on my face as well. It's so sad for Yumi and WFZ. Imagine WFZ today, kind of the hero, not throwing the game versus Sock, not throwing the game versus Fast in the early season. Everything could be different here today. Yeah, a little tragic that there he performed so poorly, but you know, not making the playoffs is of course not a good end to the season, but beating Moon. That is at least some sort of consolation. Yeah. And $7,000 is not too shabby at all. YR end the season with a 2 and a 5. Actually, they could be surpassed by F4 if they win the next clan war against NP. Wouldn't that be horrible? They One moment they fight for the playoffs and $11,000 and being one of the top four teams. And then your hands are tied. And the Koreans who were... So disappointing throughout the entire season to snatch the 
consolation prize away. And you just can look and see and cry. That's the story for the next clan war. We have one more. F4 versus NP. The top region is all decided. ELL, Rogue Warriors, LP Club, rise again. But who's get the money for rank 6? F4 or YR? Wait, what? Isn't YR top 6 guaranteed? They're 2 and 5 now. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I talk bullshit. I should have cut this before. That's why I always cut away because I started talking bullshit. But uh, yeah, let's uh, wait. Can we start, uh, show the Liquipedia bracket? We sure can. Gave Penn some time to update this. Yeah. So this is the standing in the league. YR. 2 and 5 out, F4, 2 and 4, NP, 1 and 5. They have still one match left. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, UMAT, of course, with the 0 18 streak at the very bottom. So, F4 and NP are fighting for rank 6, though, right? Yes. NP needs a big win, though. Do they? Uh, no, I they need a. One. It, 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 it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, with a even if they win three two, it's gonna be yeah. even in score then. Yeah. And then it's a head to head, so yeah. a three two would be enough. So the winner takes six. This is one of the longest days of the entire WGTL. So we take a little break to refresh, and then one more Clan War for seven thousand dollars as rank six gives you seven thousand seven and eight only in quotes four thousand top four set in stone and yeah pretty top heavy as you see thanks for the cool support today we're going to be right back after a little break